esa niña no se aguanta Yo quiere todo porque el pussy sabe a falta Yo si la dejas por pendejo se te casa Ey, dale todo, dos de lengua y una horchata Oh, si te alcanza, yo Imagine I just start rapping the whole fucking thing Well, I don't have a guest right now So I can really just keep on rapping Usually when the guest is here, they're like Hey. That part, yeah, that part's there, and they're just like, "Hey, <laughs> they don't know the lyrics." But today, I could sit here and rap for y'all all night, baby. Oh wait, I was supposed to have my flannel. It was supposed to be part of the look. Anyway, yo, shout out to everybody that's saying Fern in the motherfucking chat, Disco Inferno. Um, everybody that's on TikTok, if you don't know what's going on, eh, denle para para la persona que dijo que me alaba, pues ándale, ve a lavarme los trastes en YouTube. Estamos en YouTube, YouTube.com/slash Everyday Days. Somebody pin it in the chat on TikTok. Everybody on YouTube right now, what's good? I love y'all. I told y'all that when we hit 1K, I'm going to drink this right here and become Theo Snow. We're at 716 right now. What the fuck is going on? And uh, where are my friends? All my friends are not here. I'm freaking, I'm about to eat a biscuit. My brother hates when I eat on the mic. Oh, the sugar cookies are in the car. Oh, dang. The ham is over there. The ham is in the oven. The sugar cookies are in the car. The biscuits are in the podcast room. The fucking mashed potatoes are in the merch store. <laughs> <laughs> Just do a fucking, do a whole ass, uh, what's that called? The thing I do for Baby Drew all the time? On Christmas? Oh, uh, scavenger hunt. Scavenger hunt. Do a scavenger hunt for Thanksgiving. That's what we really should do. That'd be crazy. Imagine. Just a turkey leg over here. Just be like, oh, you guys are hungry? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, check this shit out. <laughs> Go hunt for this stuff. Find a biscuit in the middle of yes. the goats. <laughs> in the e middle of the Everybody that's saying Fern in the chat. Okay, I love y'all and I love that y'all came from TikTok. But I like how there's 780 people watching and there's only 218 likes. You hitting the Fern, but you're not hitting the like, baby. You need a... What's up? Hey, yeah, why are you saying praying Ido picks me? I, I, I don't know. I, Ido doesn't I didn't pick. know I was the picker. Aha. Alyssa's the pick. Um, she picked last week and we do need to get the answer from her because I got lit last week. I don't remember shit. I, it usually happens at the end of the podcast. I'm not going to lie. But, you know, we, we chilling. Did the treadmill help? I think it did help a little bit. I just, hey, Brandy said, Snow, I finally became a member. Go ahead, Brandy. Ooh. Lit. Thank you, guys. Yesenia, Frank, Griselda, Trisha, Veronica, Valenciaga, Carolina, Jaden, Jahaira, Celia, Brianna, Bia, everybody else that's, uh, that your name is white, don't worry, it's okay, if you're wel welcome to the chat right now, everybody with the green name is members, everybody with the white name, you just showed up, but that's totally fine, thank you for joining us, hopefully one day you, will, you two will want to become a member, but if you don't, that's totally fine, we up in this bitch, somebody said, Fer Violeta said Fern with the fucking, uh, with the little plantitas, dude, Ido, why didn't you tell me? I'm going to spill some tea on Ido right now. What the heck? Guess what happened? Huh? When you sent the design, you didn't send a mock-up. So we have hoodies with the logo this big. Mm. Thank God it's just the, it's just a sample and um, or the samples. And, uh, yeah, that's the point I told of samples him, right there. Yeah, but it, it held everything back a couple of days because he was like. Yeah, I mean, you told me send the design. I didn't know it's send the design and mock-ups. Like mock I, I haven't done fuck? that that many times that I'm like just automatically I know. Oh, yeah, send the mock-ups because this guy doesn't. Cole, how do you like website. that we have the aiming for better though hoodie with the design this big? I like that. Well, yeah, but we they're already fucking sold with the design small. I don't know what y'all are feeling, but I feel like we'll just have both designs. I was like, I don't want you to waste the screens because it does take two screens to make it. Actually, it took three screens because on the big one it has the details like the little the little leaf stuff. Come sit, Cole. Well, I'm assuming, right? You got the foot thing, and you're not gonna want to stand. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, yeah, yo, what's up, Cole? What's up? The first guests to the freaking friendsgiving. Yeah, yo, sit with uh, Ido and or have, do you want a biscuit? We have nine fourteen at one thousand. I'm gonna chug this, and I'm assuming Cole's gonna. What you gonna drink, Cole? Imagine. What you gonna drink? Nah. There's wine. There's red wine. There's muscat. Cole, can you turn to that skeleton guy and, and the girl? I feel like the camera's focused on their face. I know, it's not even... Not so sharp. It's not even... Okay. Yeah, it's probably better. Thanks. It's not even uh, Halloween time no more. I know, Cole's here in the building. You don't play her some intro music. You want these? Ooh. Or no. where have you been? 
Cole's in the motherfucking building, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know who Cole is, Cole has superpowers, and she gets y'all's merch to you in a day. It'd be crazy. Amazon what? Amazon huh? No, it's Cole. Colazon. That sounds like a that sounds like a medication. <laughs> Put some Colazon on that shit. You'll be good as new. Shout out Carol Luna for becoming a schwit. Whatever. Um, yeah. Cole World. Everybody saying hi to Cole in the chat. Hello, Greg. Did she get a new tattoo? Oh yeah, no. I told no. I told them I was gonna invite you to get a tattoo. Um, but oh, I haven't no. gone. You'll probably go when I go because um I gotta go back and finish. I told her I tapped out and I feel like a little judgment from her, I'm not gonna lie. No. I was like, Cole, I tapped out and she was like, How many hours? Get that mic closer to you, Cole. Please. No, I think that's a good amount of time. Yeah. I thought like three hours I'd have been like, Oh, come on, but you said like five, six. Um, what's the longest you've you've gotten tatted? Thirteen. Thirteen hours without getting tapped? I mean without get tapping out? Mm-hmm. God damn, what were they doing? My side over here. Right over here. One of them. How big is the tat? That big. Damn. I don't even know because some some of the tattoos. Oh shit! We just hit one k. I'm about to chug this shit right here. God damn. Sheesh. All I had today was a breakfast sandwich in the morning, and then some broccoli and what's that shit called? cauliflower in the evening i was waiting for tonight man i, I was trying not to eat i was like what's the god, god damn oh my god, oh my god. sorry <laughs> that was hell? really loud it's because i can't i don't know yeah. nah, never mind. cole me... have a drink hold on and is this one better i'm about to become god. a deal yeah, happy friends think we're fr- i can't say it friends, friends, friends give here. <laughs> let's cheers because i don't want you to cheers by yourself you. cheers. <laughs> somebody <laughs> remind me to buy some wine glasses we out here struggling with these but I will say, I will say, I've bought a lot of wine glasses throughout, you know, living at the ranch. The problem is, people don't realize that when you get a wine glass dirty, put it outside the goddamn sink. People put it in the sink, and then they put a plate on top of it, and then people don't see it, and then they put right. more shit, and then they break all the fucking time. And I'm just like, who are you, Neanderthals, that can't <laughs> realize? Put the damn cup over here. Pa que no. Oh, I thought you were playing sad music, but it. It My uncle like with the leaf music. blue. <laughs> Still, it's freaking nighttime. What does he? What does he have? Night vision? He Dude. can just see in the dark. Leaves. He's My on a mission. Uncle. My uncle's been wilding with the leaf blower. <laughs> He's leaving and no leaf unturned. Is yeah. that the saying? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I just feel like. Oh wait, no, it's rock unturned. Stone unturned. Stone unturned. That's what it is. Never mind. So where the hell the leaf? I don't know. Unturned I feel like there's leaf. leaves and sayings, right? Yeah. But. <laughs> you know what else there's leaves on our brand new aiming for better though merch make sure you buy that no imagine <laughs> go to everydaydays.com um no but no real shit i i feel like my uncle was not leaf blowing until i started doing my makeup <laughs> and went live and then my anxiety was through the roof because like that's that noise being right next to my door i was like bro all day he's been everywhere else but as soon as i went live <laughs> that shit was like right next door and then it sounded like it was getting closer i thought he was about to come through the window i was like damn imagine my tail's like, oh, sorry, Mika. <laughs> <laughs> Just leaf blows my fucking hairline. I'm like, damn. Anyway, cheers, y'all. Cheers. Cheers. Drinking that muscat. Muscat. Oh, oh, yeah. How you doing, yeah, yo? Yeah, yeah, one of those. Where they at? Or some eggnog. Oh, there's both. Ah, but that's probably not a good combination, huh? So, yeah, I guess just the buzz ball then. What up, son? Hello. <laughs> you looking for the biscuits? I'm hey, would you come say cheddar. hi on camera? Half of them have cheddar, half of them don't. Well, Step right here in front of the camera right there. You're getting taller. You know whenever people... <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Wait, like, yeah, stay there. Is it going to focus on your face? Let me, let's test it out. Imagine if every podcast baby juice says hi like that. He's just like, hey, guys. <laughs> well, you're not showing your full face now, but... Uh, Get back, baby, so that it can focus people. on your face. You're dark. Dang. Aww. No, it doesn't. Cover up her face. You are getting a little uh, taller, baby. I see it. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, maybe a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> not gonna lie, might have been the Crocs. But go, let's go ahead and eat some more uh, biscuits and uh, everything. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, we got how many? Sixteen biscuits. So, a lot of biscuits. I mean, I'm down. I mean, you know, actually, yeah, no. Much? I'll start eating when everybody else gets here. Cause yeah, 
I really want ham, bro. Are we sure people are coming? Yes, it's just they were stuck in traffic, and that's why when when um Yvette said that there was a lot of traffic, it made sense because they were like, oh, that we're stuck in traffic, and I was just like, yeah, right. Closed, I thought they were yeah. lying, bro. I thought I was like, yeah, right. Closed, so. Oh yeah. Hmm. So all the traffic goes on the five. It's backed out. Yo, Theo does does who? Does Baby Drew look like a young Mateo? Who's Mateo? Mateo. I don't know. Oh, like that would be a cute name for a son kid. if I had another kid. <laughs> I always had the jungle book. I always like. I wonder, like, what if I had another son? Like, what would his name was be? Would be so I could be like Andrew and Mateo. Mateo would be cute. Andrew and Jonas. Andrew Jonas. and Jonas. Juan, Juan Sebastian. Baby, if you had a brother, what would your what would you think? What would you want his name to be? <laughs> Mateo. Mateo. Aw, that's a cute name. Imagine whoever just said that in the chat. You're like probably just named my second <laughs> child. Damn. I mean, I don't think I'm having one, but you know. So yeah, Mateo. Option. Mateo. But that's an option. Like that's a that's a oh, name I said for. Adoption. Oh, oh, I'm dead. You said sp- <laughs> sponsored by Sprite. No, move that. <laughs> not not no, again. Um, Mateo from I Superstore. Oh, I don't know where that's from. Not the Jonas Brothers. Lorenzo? No, no not Jonas Lorenzo. Jonas as in Juan Sebastian. R.I.P. Oh. The legend. Juan Sebastian. Yo, Juan Sebastian songs be hitting, bro. Yeah. Bro, can we sample a Juan Sebastian? Dude, how about this? Can we just talk about this? Because Yvette, you're in the music business. At least let her get on the fucking... I want you to tell me something right now, and I want it to be <laughs> off the fucking cuff. Oh, my God. How do you feel that BMI just got bought out by a for-profit fucking company? What is going on? So now artists, right? Artist music gets to be made by AI, which is going to like, hold on, because just in case that this becomes a clip, that audio is going to suck ass. But okay, artist music, it gets to be made by AI and anyone can just fuck over artists because artist voice does not, it, the, the law hasn't moved forward to where you can copyright or trademark an artist's voice. So as of right now, you can legally rip an artist off and just all their work that they've ever done, like, it doesn't matter. Anyone can make a song with their voice and take it and, you know, just do whatever for profit. And then BMI, who is supposed to be protecting the rights of writers, is now for profit, like, purchased by a company that is for profit. So now it's like, how are you going to feel like you're being protected by anyone if it's like a for profit thing? So it's like, do you feel like artists and especially independent artists are just like, who is out here for us? Like, what's what's going to happen? Well, I think we have to, well, like with the BMI thing, CSEC is also for profit. So I think the money that they're getting for profit in the sense that they use that money to reinvest into things that help the writers. Not that they are going to sell the writers anything. But hopefully. Yeah. But now I guess you could say like ASCAP would be the only one non-for-profit. CSEC has always been for profit. Um, they're just a smaller entity of a PRO, you know? But I don't know that many people on CSAC. I feel like everybody was like ASCAP or BMI. Because those are, so for, on CSAC, they're by invitation only. So they don't go and like, you know, you can't just sign up for free. They, they want to be able to really tap in and be a part of your process and whatnot. So from what my understanding is, the for-profit things is to be able to really just get to the level to have, you know, I guess things that are, going on today and like digitally and whatnot where BMI has been around since like Elvis Presley. So they're still working on the budgets from back in the day. So they've never been able to really upgrade their systems until now. You and, know? That, and that's hopeful thinking though, right? And by the way, I'm going to yeah. get off this subject because I'm sure everybody's in, in the chat like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? <laughs> but I'm just like, that's one of those things that it's like, we're hopeful that people are going to do the right thing. But as we see with most of, Fucking humanity, governments, everything, companies, um, different no, non-profits, everything is like there's always randos that get up in there and then they fuck some shit up that it's supposed to be, in theory, a good fucking idea. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I am nervous. Like, it makes me nervous as an artist. It makes me be like, OK, like, cool. But same time, like, what's good with this podcast? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I hope this podcast does well. I mean, for my fans, I'm never going to stop making music because I feel like I do that for, like, my enjoyment. Like, I like making music. But as far as, like, the music business, sometimes I'll be a little bit like, ooh, it's a little dicey out there for people. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. No, it is. It's sketchy. It's super sketch. But but we should go definitely and have a meeting with BMI because I think I went and I had a meeting with them about this subject. So oh. it's good to just, like, learn things about it. And I was like, Did you oh, go over yeah. there and put your foot up their ass? 
Yeah, I was just like, but what about this? You know, all these questions that you were asking too, and it kind of made sense because it's like when you're 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 working off of a budget, or not really. How can you reinvest into things or give you know advances or help in different ways when you're so limited with money? And at no point did they ever mention like, oh, we're you know, the artists are gonna suffer from it. If anything, the artists are gonna get other. To be um, fair, though, if you go over there, you think they're going to be like, yeah, we're no, about to fuck no, these artists. No, of course not. But I'm just saying, like, noticing that there's so many other companies that are already for profit. It's not like, you know, they're just one of the last ones to, to jump in. So, okay. I don't know. All right. We'll I'm see. being optimistic. We'll see where this goes, guys. Yes. We're about to, we about to uh, see where the fuck this goes. Uh, didn't mean to turn this into a fucking music panel. Sorry. I know you just came. <laughs> she just came straight from the fucking Latin Grammys, Ooh. which are now in... <laughs> Not a Latin country, but okay, none of my business. But next year they're coming back. So they they are? Mm -hmm. So it was just for one year? Yeah. So, so it's like the the NFL and the soccer. They have a different because place. Also, remember that this past week, the week that we do Latin Grammys in Vegas, the F1. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. F1 yeah. was over there. Yeah, so that's why also. And then Sevilla, you know, like, they petitioned for it, they got it. And we're going to continue doing events over there, but not... Why the Latin Grammys can't ever be in, like, Mexico? Yeah, I mean, Mexico has to petition for it. The city wants it, like, you know? Yeah. Man, I don't know. But, you know, with Latin music and shit, I do feel like, um... Should be. Where was Baby Drew's leaving? You taking some biscuits? Taking some biscuits to go? No, I didn't. Oh. I'm dead. Okay, babe. Bye, baby. Love you. <laughs> He's like, this conversation is boring. Okay. I'll take that as a hint for let's change the fucking subject. <laughs> baby Drew's like, I'm out. No, nah, but you want to practice. speaking of Elvis Presley, I just went and watched that movie, Priscilla. How was it? I would like to let everybody know that I wish anybody who's ever dealt with me in the past was a little bit nicer like <laughs> Priscilla because there's a lot of things that happened in that movie that I'm like, yeah, fucking right. He met her at 14. We know that. So we've always been like, yo, Elvis met Priscilla at 14. That's kind of fucking wild. I How mean, mind you, 24. Mind you, at the time... You know, we can't fucking talk about all that shit because, yeah, at the time, you already know what it was. Nobody's excusing it. Nobody's saying yeah. that's okay. But I'm just saying, like, at that time, that's what they thought. So I find it hard to believe that a 24-year-old Elvis, when he was in his most poppin', met that girl at 14, waited until she was 18, then married her, and then did it. I just, I just find it very nice of her to have <laughs> painted it that way. But I'm like... Keep it a fucking buck, girl. What are we talking about? So then that. And then also in the little scene where he like gives her a sleeping pill or whatever. He's just like, yeah, so you could sleep better. And then like she magically slept for two days. I'm like, so you mean to tell me the first time you link up with a chick, you give her a sleeping pill. She passes out for two days and, and you never happening. took her to the hospital? Like nothing? Like shorty, you thought she was fucking sleeping beauty? Were you going to kiss her back to awakeness? No. <laughs> that bitch was, you, you know what I mean? So to me, I was just like, man, they're painting this out to be. A lot better now mind you and then the times that he like physically assaulted her like hit her or whatever it was like accidentally with a pillow or like he threw a chair and it missed her or like you know just certain things that is just like bullshit you know in those days bro in the 50s and 60s these dudes wilding. were wilding <laughs> they're like shut up you know what i mean and then you're, you're talking about a you know he's on certain stuff <laughs> he's doing things you mean to tell me a rock star elvis you know the only thing i will say is it was crazy how when she got a little aggressive with him he was like you're not a man i don't want to be with a man right that's heck? a little that's a little weird that's a little sus he right was gay. and then <laughs> as he got older tell me if not juan gabriel different artist um what's his name with the piano that made that song with eminem sang lion king the circle of life Elton John oh all those type of dudes don't they get more flamboyant as they get older don't they get the yeah. weird outfits and the mm -hmm. you know and I feel like Elvis did that like he was just doing some so I'm like hey there might have been a little you know what I'm saying Oscar little. De La Hoya did that too okay <laughs> so to me I'm just like and eh, you know but you never know because also let's just so you don't think that I'm out here like talking crap about the man's legacy because I did used to be an Elvis fan when I was a little girl I'm just saying there was a lot of things that in culture were not okay. Like, what if he was a little, what if he was bi? Like, maybe he liked women, but he also liked men. But that wasn't okay back then, so he was just overcompensating by being like, you're not a man. Like, Shorty yeah. was playing a pillow fight with you, and she hit you a little hard, and you right away, like, smack her because you I think she wants to be it. a man. He's like, I don't like men, or I don't want to be with a man. I'm like, whoa. 
if you were with a dude and he said that you'd be like chill <laughs> out <laughs> his demons <laughs> he was fighting his fucking demons you look behind you the movie? Like, what the fuck? yeah i just watched it in the movies he's like what i don't want to be with a man you're like <laughs> bro <laughs> chill out there lv relax <laughs> but oh down low was common as fuck back then you feel me and 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 as a queer woman i also am not i've made this mistake in the past i feel like i've been you know what i mean i'll make fun of like you know the down low shit or whatever whatever and that's like irresponsible because to me also we should make a safe space for people who are down low that are not ready to come out the closet what i don't think is okay is being down low not being ready to come out the closet and taking it out on women that's where I feel is like a fucked up thing that a lot of down low dudes do because yeah. they get this aggressive over masculinity thing and then they take it out on women. And it's like, why make a woman a scapegoat? If you're dealing with your demons and you're dealing with your demons and they're not demons, that's your attractiveness towards men. Like, that's fine. But why you got to take it out on a girl? I feel like women have been suffering for that for a very long fucking time. And the same is true for fucking, you know, maybe women that are interested in whatever the fuck you know who knows the yell is common as fuck. i mean it is you know but making a safe space for everybody <laughs> as long as you don't make other people a scapegoat for your fucking demons you dealing with do your thing you know whatever nobody should force you out the fucking closet do, do your thing but just don't make rap songs about how women ain't shit like chill out women are never gonna be shit to you because you don't like them yeah sorry cheers cheers Theo Snow coming out with the fucking wine. I'm classy Theo <laughs> Snow. The Muscat. Oh, the Muscat. To everybody, to everybody that's on TikTok, somebody said, TikTok brought me here. Hey, Jean Perlata. Jean Perlata? How you say your name? Jean? Jean? Like Jean-Claude Van Damme? Jean. People always call me Jean-Claude Van Damme because my name is Claudia. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, Claude. And I'll be like, that's like, what is, why is that funny? They'll be like, oh, you're not, you don't think it's funny. I'm like... Jean Claude Van Damme. I mean, a lot of people looked up to him. How's that even a bad thing? I don't know. I was in middle <laughs> school, and they also called me Boxhead. Like yeah, that. I mean, any, everything that just gets, like everything, anything could be turned into like an insult if it's like a bunch of people say it yeah. and laugh. <laughs> yeah. Circle just laughing behind your back. You're crying. Single tear going down your fucking <laughs> cheek as you're walking over to the f- girl's bathroom. <laughs> Mr. Lovell just looking at you like. Mr. Lovell. Yeah, I had a teacher named Mr. Lovell. Lovell. I forgot what the Lovell. fuck his name was. Mm. Yeah. I remember this one time in middle school, this fucking kid, he threw up. Um, it was right when those Oreo cereal had came out. He threw up that Oreo, Oreo cereal all over the fucking desk in the classroom. It oh smelled like God. that forever. I've never ate the Oreo cereal. <laughs> I love Oreos. And because of that memory, I you have could never... never do it. I have not. I probably wouldn't be able to either. It just smelled so fucking bad, was it dude. Black? I was like, yeah, it was like black and white, Chunky. like Oreo cereal. <laughs> like it was just all over. And I was just like, and I love Oreos. Anyone who knows me, like, that's a great snack. But. For thing. Wait, but so you dip Oreos in milk? No, you know I fucking don't. No, I didn't know that because <laughs> I know you don't like things being dipped in milk, but that's literally milk's favorite cookie. I don't give a fuck about milk's feelings. <laughs> First of all, I So what do you do? Oreos. Wait, do you even drink milk when you're eating Oreos? I drink milk when I'm eating Oreos, you but I don't dip it. Oreos. In. Yeah, Separate? Yo, yeah, yo, and Ido, you both know. Do I like things being dipped in milk? No, but so I'm, I'm asking the about the most popular prak. thing to be dipped in There's milk. There's no exceptions. Cereal. Like, I'm, no I'm just... So then Soggy cereal. you like nothing mm. being dipped in milk. Got it. Um... <laughs> so how long Everybody after noted. you take a bite of the Oreo do you take a sip of milk? How long? Do you so chew it and swallow it all the way? Yeah. Wow. So you wait until the whole <laughs> Oreo's gone before you take a sip of milk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not wow. chewing something part. and then having liquid go in my mouth and then swishing it around. Yeah, yeah. it's it's the whole experience. It, it, like, <laughs> the, like like the the thing that Oh my okay, god, no, I'll literally that. throw up. <laughs> You What's know, that? No. When you have milk and then you just like, oh, swish it around. Ew! You Ew. swish it around your mouth. It's not here and there. Oh my god, no. <laughs> no, I've never Cereal. swished. No, I have not done that. That's like mouthwash like activities pan. only. When, when the bread <laughs> yeah. is too hard and I'm just like, fuck, I gotta eat something right now, which I get like that at night. I don't know why. The bread is too hard. What? Yeah, like the bread goes kind of 
hard. Stale? Oh. I guess trying to get it soft. <laughs> no. Nah, I have never switched around <laughs> silk, Muriel, Muriel and silk. <laughs> Cereal milk. That's fucking disgusting. Um, thank you, Jello, with in that, the chat. With that too, or like champurrados, fire. By the way, mm-hmm. everybody in the everybody in the when TikTok right now, go over to YouTube. <laughs> um, I'm gonna when turn this off. Nata. Go to <laughs> YouTube.com/slash Everyday Days. We're gonna freaking keep going it. live right here. I know here. she'd be grossed out by it. What? Nata? The, the skin on top of the champurado. I mean, I'll scoot it over. I, I, I think it's gross, but I'll try not to look at it and I'll just scoot it over. While I can. Oh, you won't take it out? I mean, awesome. I can too. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't. But I, yeah, I feel I'm like a texture. Know. Like, that's how I feel. Like, I, I did, like, I, I feel like I, I might be a little sensitive to textures and stuff. Because the first time I ate mashed potatoes, my mom said I threw up all over Sizzler. Oh, my gosh. So, okay, everybody on TikTok, make your way over to YouTube right now and um, we're what's gonna better, keep on talking. What's better, Sizzler or Chili? Chili's. Well, they're different. Sizzlers was like a pizza buffet, wasn't it? Right. Oh no. Sizzlers. Sizzler was like a buffet. Oh the yeah okay I remember. <laughs> and it looked like I was drinking milk like a. I know. A day, <laughs> like you don't like milk. <laughs> it's definitely a texture thing, dude. Get a milk mustache. <laughs> it's a texture thing because it's like certain things I just can't. Like they have to have a little bit of crispiness to it. Like if I just eat something super like soft, like <laughs> I like oatmeal. Like yeah, like my oatmeal. I like to be crispy. Yeah, I like my oatmeal needs to be like chunky. My mom made it like like watery, but then my Theo's still going with the leaf blower. Jesus Christ, <laughs> it's gonna be midnight. And he's he's got unlimited gas. <laughs> <laughs> if I have watery oatmeal, I have to have toast. Like, I can't just it's have just, which is crazy because everybody knows I like soup, but soup has to have something in it or have like crackers or tortillas or chips or something yeah. with it. Bread, mm. like grilled cheese, grilled cheese. You know how they got the great. grilled cheese with tomato soup? I never done. Bro, in Miami, I had the bombest. <laughs> it wasn't Miami. It was Fort Lauderdale. The bombest grilled cheese. It was a grilled cheese place. And after the club, you go to this place. The bomb is grilled cheeses in life. And then the <laughs> sauce that they give you is like a tomato sauce, but it's kind of like sweet. It's like this thing. And then you dip it, bro. I'll t- like I would travel there to party and literally <laughs> Have the eat cheese. that. I mean, mind you, Fort Lauderdale is where the gay area is of Miami. So mm-hmm. I will travel there for that. But Duval. <laughs> what? That's Jacksonville. Oh, <laughs> Duval County. <laughs> but uh, so what? It, it was like a 3 a.m. grilled cheese. Yeah. Fucking delicious. Grilled cheese in the crazy. bus were bomb. So your lactose intolerance never acts up with the grilled cheese? Um, no. Hmm. It's so not like barely lactose intolerant. Yeah, I'm not thinking I'm the biggest like because I like ice cream and I like I like macaroni and cheese, but Calm. my stomach's gonna be making some noises. But I'll deal with it. Oh yeah, like That's when we were at thing. the movie. <laughs> We're at the movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, what's going on with your stomach? <laughs> <laughs> My stomach was like, hey, hold on. What the yeah. fuck is going on? <laughs> but yeah, it was you, also the movie sucking ass. When, you're, when your stomach makes noises, you never know if somebody else could hear it, right? Always yeah, I always think yeah. about that, too. No, I, I feel like they can hear it. I just hope that it's not loud enough that they think it's something else. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because has yeah. your ever stomach fart. ever made a noise that almost sounds like a fart? And you're like, wait, 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 that was like, inside my stomach. Here. You know that what I mean? Internal. Like you're like, that was internal. Like don't, don't. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that. We didn't break the fourth wall on that. One. <laughs> exactly. As long as it stays in the like, that's cool. Like don't look at me crazy. People are like, whoa, and it's like, yo, 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 yo. No, that was inside my stomach. I'm sorry. The acoustics are good in there. You have to hold your stomach. I'm and let them know shaped like a here. goddamn cello. <laughs> like that's on are me. Are you guys comfortable farting with anybody? No. No. <laughs> no. Are you? No, not me. Uh, with my friends, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess like that makes Boomba sense. But, or... Cheese bar. but right, we weren't really, like, we're more, like, shy, reserved. I mean, I feel it makes like, sense, though. You guys yeah. are, as a female, it's not. But it's not that it's just not that, because Ido, Ido's not comfortable with that either. I think you're comfortable because your dad used to tell you, oh, yeah, not just you. Just he used to say that to us. <laughs> Yayo's dad would be like, what's that? And then you'd be like, what? And then he'd be like, look. And then he'll go, you'll <laughs> bend down to look, and he'll fart. <laughs> Even worse, your he'll head. grab your le- he'll g- grab your head with his leg, <laughs> and then he'll <laughs> fart. He does the same shit. Oh, my God. The trauma, the trauma yeah. of being a child that gets told, what's that? <laughs> and then your uncle, who is supposed to be 
your <laughs> fucking <laughs> like you know a, an adult grabs your le- your head with his leg and farts. He made my uncle Just throw kidding. up one time because he locked the windows. <laughs> he farted, locked the windows, so he couldn't get down. So he threw up, and then he had to pull over to the side. My uncle's like, what the fuck are you eating? Yeah. Uh, and Tio Carlos. Oh, my God. People, people that. But yeah, my daddy would eat anything. <laughs> so his stomach is wild. Nah, and at this point, like, I don't know. I don't even be feeling like farting very much, <laughs> honestly. Because from, you know, your stomach, you just hold it so much that, well, hell that no. it's like, it's bad. I mean, no, obviously when I'm, <laughs> when I'm pooping, yes. But I'm saying like, not I'm just dead. randomly. I'm like, what's going on? Airplane. You- really? It's like burping. It's like the burping thing. Like, same thing. I feel like you just. But you're like also you on a really good it, diet right it. now. No, Type that's thing. not true. I think your diet has changed a lot, and I think you're doing really good with your diet. So yeah, yeah, I think your stomach is used to bad. what you eat. Yeah, yeah, it's prepared. It's not like. Yeah. Because I think that <laughs> happens. The gases. I think that happens when you're just walling. If you foods and things and all kinds yeah. of. But Everything you've been on everywhere. a like you eat yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. consistently, so it's like the same thing. When you throw in a 3 a.m. Well, grilled panda. cheese, then you just. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. How did we get here? How are we on a fucking grown adult podcast for Friendsgiving and we're talking about this? I mean, it makes Fun. sense. Oh, Thanksgiving oh, is the exact I night. You guys were comfortable letting one rip. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. Like the, uh, I don't. And I also, by the way, because going on that fucking conversation, I feel like with your partner, I feel like it's very important to keep certain things like as long as you can. I think at some point you're going to get comfortable, right? But like I always kind of, I grew up with like, my mom getting too comfortable with her significant others. So I needed to like explain to her. I was like, how do you think that feels? If like a year in, you're like comfortable, like, you know, how, how, where do you go from there? I think if you get too comfortable too quickly, there's no mystery. It's not cute. No more. They're going out. They're seeing other people be all on their best behavior. You're at home just being like, Oh, rah, you know, it's like, that's a little fucking weird. I believe in a little mystery. Keep it cute. Don't get too comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Obviously get comfortable with your conversations, do certain things, but like, gotta keep it cute man because at some point you know they got they're gonna look at you and be like damn all right fuck <laughs> you know i mean i don't know i've been that person and been like really and and they might look at me like that too maybe maybe not but but i feel like they would i don't know how do y'all feel do you think hey man and i haven't been lying to nobody about farting i never said i farted a lot i just think it's funny <laughs> i mean i feel like it's part of nature like pooping like it, it if you have to don't hold because, it in because it's bad for you. Yeah, but the same way, like, pooping, you can go to a restroom and do it. Yeah. So it's like, oh, yeah, I think always, people... I mean, by all means, step aside. Because, right, when the the first when you first meet a girl or, like, you guys are, like, interested in somebody, you're yeah, not, like, first, first no, day just off. farting. Oh, my God, no. That'd be That's terrible. a turnoff. So how does it not become a turnoff when you've been with a person for a, for a bit? Like, why is why did it all of a sudden not become a turnoff? I guess Probably because you, they're like, you oh, see you, them without makeup and... Yeah, it's like you like you, light, you like my personality sleep. enough, right? All right, here comes the realness. <laughs> you know, I think guys find it more funny though, like to be able to. Yeah, I mean, at the same like, time, as a, like once you're already like, all right, I like this person, then it's kind of like, all right, you feel comfortable. That's why you're doing it. But if not, but at the beginning, like, yeah, don't be farting. Man. And it's not, it's not, it's not Yale's funny advice. all the time though. Yale's advice at the beginning: don't be farting. <laughs> Especially yeah. if you're gonna eat ass later. Hey, look, man. It, yeah, it's definitely something that <laughs> could be going. not funny though. Like, if it's like, damn, I ain't touching that. Hell, the no. funniest parts are like accidental or like and surprise, or when you sneeze and every fart. day. <laughs> nah, that ain't funny. Oh yeah, like you gotta go get yourself checked. Oh my god, what? <laughs> if you farting every day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah nah, like, man. What the fuck? Nah. Or change your diet. You're eating too much. Diet. I thought you were gonna say change, change your, your diaper. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, diet. God damn, I'm dead. <laughs> change um, your dead. Diaper, diaper changing is not fun. I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh, Bucci said, "Oh, <laughs> Bucci, welcome. How you doing?" Um, Butch. Um. Yeah, okay, now I'm feeding for a grilled cheese. couple slices. Thank you. I'm trying to change the subject. Okay. I'm looking. And this is a game changer. Oh, so, okay, so here, everybody But that's what I was going to say. That grilled, that grilled cheese place had, like, all the options. It was, like, bacon. 10 different, like, grilled cheese versions. 
Wh- mm-hmm. What's better on grilled cheese when they make it with mayo or b- butter? Mayo. They're different vibes. <laughs> They're different. I feel like the mayo makes it a little bit more like sourdough type. Like it's got a little sourness to it. And I feel like the butter is just straight butter. But you also got to know how, because sometimes people like you could soak it in butter and then it's just still not good because now it's just greasy and a little mm-hmm. soggy or a little burnt. You just got to know what you're doing. I, feel like I can tell a lot by how people flavor. cook a grilled cheese mayo. and a pancake. Mid temperature, mid low. You know? Oh, Violeta Fern. <laughs> Some delicious. I'm dead. Se revienta la tripa. Yeah, but you, you can only it. vote oh, wow. on butter or mayo if you've had both. Because I feel like a lot of people kind of had butter. Alejandra wants to know if you're okay, Cole. Yes. We're having well, a fart <laughs> conversation. I'm pretty sure Cole's like, I don't know that I could t- super get up in this. Yeah, they say you look lit. Are you you taking some medication? No, not yet. Not oh. today. <laughs> I had to stop taking it because I feel like it was making me feel weird. Um, That's maybe fact. I'm high. <laughs> oh, you smoke? Hey. Nice. Oh, okay. Okay, now that okay, now that I'm off TikTok, we can talk about smoking because people were asking me if I smoke or whatever, and I was like, go on YouTube if you want to ask me about that because on TikTok you can get blocked or whatever. But I smoke to sleep, but lately I've been smoking to to scroll on informational videos, like because I need to like focus my energy because I'm trying <laughs> to learn more shit, and I so yeah, that's what I've been it doing. Helps me focus or to watch like like movies or documentaries. Like I do like to smoke just to watch that. But if I'm going to like like live a regular day, I don't I don't want to smoke because what ends up happening is I just hyper fixate on one thing. So then I'm like, smoke, I smoke. And then I'm just stuck in my room going through one drawer. And I'm like, fuck, <laughs> all day went by and I'm like, fuck. And the one drawer is super great, but everything else looks like <laughs> shit. the rest. I look back and the rest of my room looks crazy. But the r- r- the one <laughs> drawer is perfect. And I'm like this. You like SpongeBob with the T. What? <laughs> SpongeBob when he's going to write like an essay. Oh, really? You never seen that? Oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he has I remember. Like, uh, yeah. I thought you meant with like he was drinking tea. No. Yeah, he's got. I was like, I SpongeBob got a too. drinking like tea. A I was like, SpongeBob got a gossip vlog? He's from Texas. <laughs> with the tea. <laughs> no. SpongeBob with the tea. But that's why I do like to smoke because it does keep like my mind from going off on 10 different things. That it is. Let's focus on one. That's me trying to write a song when I don't. I'm dead. Look at y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> hey. Hi. What the hell is that noise? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. And we here got we about see. 10 minutes left of the podcast. No, I'm just kidding. And, see, and here we see women in their natural habitat <laughs> making a noise when they see each other. Hi. <laughs> I'm dead. All right. Um, I used to smoke, but every right. day. Oh, you're sober for two years. How do y'all feel? Like, I mean, good for you. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. That's <laughs> that was way better of an answer. But for me, I feel like because there's some people that like. Okay, I do follow a lot of sober pages on Instagram. You would be proud of me how many I actually follow, but <laughs> mostly because I want to keep that both. You know what I mean? It's like, I know I drink, I know I party, I know I do all that, but I also want to keep a good amount of people that are, you know, happy about their sobriety and shit on my page. Like, I, I feel like, let me get the balance. Shout out Snoop. But I feel like, no, he actually didn't quit. You didn't know it was an ad? That's crazy. Yeah, that. That's why I, I knew it because it didn't say smoking, it said smoke. So right. Like, he's obviously capping. But yeah, so, so I do that, right? And that's cool. But, and no offense to the sober people, but I do want to know. Because a lot of times they make it their whole fucking personality. And it's like, I'm sober. I don't drink. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't drink. And it's like, okay, bro, do you fucking talk about anything else? <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, like there's all, there's regular vegans and then there's like annoying vegans. So to me, I'm just, it's just one of them things where it's like, I'm sure some of y'all are just like, yo, it's a choice. But, you know, it is what it is. And then some people are posting all fucking day every day. And I'm like, are you a dry drunk? Because a dry drunk means, and you can go through this with a relationship, you know, whenever people are like, no contact, they're like, I'm going to go no contact. I'm not going to talk to my ex. But it's like, you're low key counting the days until you fucking talk to your ex again. So it's like, Mm -hmm. yeah, you think you got over them because you haven't talked to them in three months and four days and 65 minutes and, you know, however many seconds. But it's like, bro, you're counting down every (laughs) single fucking minute. Like, it sounds like you, that's the one. You are miserable. That's obsessed, too. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, like, what the fuck? So I feel like that's that's, um, one of those, like, being a dry drunk and, like, not being over your ex and not talking to them is the same fucking thing. It's just like, I think there's something in there that we need to figure out Address more than another obsession addiction yeah it means super dry 
right um yeah but i don't know what you guys how you guys feel i just wanted that to become a conversation so we can talk about it i'm dead all the sober people just left the chat literally we lost 20 <laughs> 20 people were like fuck this bitch <laughs> <laughs> well, trying to shit on my sobriety cool, but also being high is cool so but i feel like you too find the, well, the cool path I, I think do feel there's different sides of it. There are the people who like introduce herself as like, oh, I'm sober this. And it's like, OK, congratulations. But every other sentence or anything is about them being sober. It's just like they adopted that new that new addiction. Yeah. But I don't know for sure like, no. how they do it either. And I guess that's, that's kind of what my question was, is more like on some. Um, there's obviously a part of your brain. And, and for people with OCD, like, uh, and b by the way, it's like OCD, it doesn't mean always like you're cleaning or you're a germaphobe or you're touching yeah. something. It's like, there's also OCD that has like intrusive thoughts, like actual intrusive thoughts, not like, oh, I want to cut my hair off. I have intrusive thoughts. They won. Like, no, like intrusive thoughts where it's like shit, you're constantly fighting because you have a fucking thing going dyslexia. in your brain. No, it's not dyslexia. But that type of fucking shit is like, there's obviously a part of your brain that makes you, um, struggle with something so how do we fix that shit because just going no contact or just super sobering up for some people isn't enough that shit is still in their fucking head how do you become it's like even having a gambling addiction like that you know that's not a drug but some people really their part Obsessed of their brain yeah. is yeah it becomes it's almost like mm -hmm. the more you try to push away from it the more that it becomes obsessive and it's like what the fuck is that? Sorry, it sounds like I'm really looking for the answer in y'all. I'm like, 1,300 people here. Somebody give me the <laughs> fucking answer. No. Oh, you want to have a seat? I do. I don't well, know. with gambling Thank addiction. Thank you, Tyler J Ecker. Oh. So we did go yeah, to I Plenty Casino. I feel like you just reached the point where you're like, this is just entertainment. It's not real. Like, obviously, you're going to lose whatever you take. Because most people lose. So until you snap out of it, and you're like, all right, this is enough. But I don't know. I guess you're right because a lot of people do think they're going to win. With gambling? Yeah. Yeah. It could definitely get troublesome. Here we have Lilo. Oh, did you get a drink? I did. Everybody, welcome Lilo to the Hi. chat. We in this bitch. Hi, guys. Hi, How are you? Um, I was told I have a chemical imbalance. It's hard sometimes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and I do think it's a chemical imbalance. I mean, I feel like a lot of us have An chemical imbalances. Um, oh, if you guys need more space, you can scoot this way if you want. Um, Hold on. It's oh, hard for me you, to do yeah. that. No, you're good. We can stay here. That's fine. Oh yeah, that OCD, what do they call it? Like, there's another, like, the LSD. pure O. Pure O or some shit or, like, something like that where it's just the O. Like, it's just the obsessive part. It's not the, like, <laughs> it's not the CD. <laughs> it's the O, MP3. <laughs> it's the O, it's DVD. The o. Yeah, purely obsessional? Mm-hmm. That should be for real. And um, yeah. Anyway, whatever. All right, we can get into a little bit of funner topic before we go super dive Medical. deep dive into <laughs> deep dive into uh my um uh, mental problems. No, I'm just joking. Post for the camera. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's post for the camera. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you All want right. that part Ready? down? Ready? One, <laughs> two, three. Post for the camera. Post for the camera. Pose for the camera. Pose for the camera. Now post that shit. Damn. Hey. We in this bitch. Wait, was that you that said that? Or was that yeah. the audio? Oh, oh nice. My brother, my brother edited that. People who smoke slash drink always talk about smoking and drinking. Do you naturally hablar de cosas que sabes gustas? Um, thank you, Ronnie. Um, Yeah. And again, this isn't me being a fucking douchebag. I'm literally fucking asking because I'm not sober. So I'm asking sober people. Why? 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 You know what I mean? Sorry. Or if why, you why, notice. Why Nothing. No, we're not going to circle back around the whole <laughs> fucking chat. I'm just fucking genuinely asking if some people feel like that. Because, for example, me, like I said, for me to follow mad sober pages means part of me goes, okay, cool. Like that could seem like a cool place I can go at some point. However... What I've also talked about, especially on my treadmill lives, is that what I'm trying to deal with in my life and with myself is um, discipline, is also limit limiting myself. It's not staying away from something absolutely because that doesn't teach my brain, which I'm fine. I could stay away from shit, but then it's more like 
limiting myself, having discipline, being able to say no, boundary issues. Like, I know that's my weakness. So, for example, when I did the um, cleanse or whatever, and I was saying no to people that were giving me free drinks or no to people that were giving me food, I felt bad. Like, I need you to know, like, it's not just like I did a cleanse and I stayed home and I wasn't around humans. No, I did a cleanse and I went to like two or three concerts. I went to VIP areas where there's free drinks, free food, all kinds of shit. Like I was going through certain things that to me, it felt, you know, people are like, yo, Snow, let me buy you a drink. And I'm just like, oh, no, man, it's okay. And and so it's like, I felt bad because I have boundary issues. So I'm like, I guess that's what I was talking about is like more like whenever you're just questioning yourself about like feeling bad about saying no. I always feel like I have to have so many reasons for, for saying no. And it's like, um, I guess I was asking if anybody feels like that, like where do you feel sometimes like maybe it's a different part of your brain. It's not just like, Oh, not drinking or drinking. It's more like something else. You know what I mean? Smoking crack. No, I'm just joking. (laughs) Anyway, whatever. Um, do Do I feel like that? I'm no, because it's like, no means no. Yeah. But I, I, I get it in yeah. some instances. Sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Turn the mic down a little bit. Oh, yeah. No, you can keep it up. Just I'll turn it down. Sorry. I Thank just you. have a loud voice. Um, But I get it. Like, if, I don't know, if people may feel a type of way, but at the same time, I'm just like, no, I don't want to drink that. I don't want to take that. Yeah. Stop being a pussy and drink this shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> What is we have? We nah, have I feel it because when we went out and you didn't want drinks, I was like, man, what the fuck? But then at the same time, I respected your decision. I was like, ah, it's temporary, so I. Right. Temporary. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. I mean, we had a great night. Yeah, I do feel. I I do feel. Um, but that doesn't feel like empowering to you. Like, like in I the, could if I wanted to, but no. Like, okay. In the long run. Like it did only because I was like, wow, I could actually say no and like just stick to it for like a while. But it wasn't so much about um, like it really wasn't so much just about the drinking or the not drinking because I was also applying that to other parts of my life. The food. I was no like also like, you know, like needing someone with me like or like sleeping with somebody like I, I was applying that to every aspect of my life, being able to just be like, yo, I don't want to rely on a crutch for anything like Mm -hmm. i want to be able to know that me as a regular person is just enough on my own you know what i mean but that doesn't mean like i mean yeah there's times when like when you're kicking it with people or whatever like you you do feel better just vibing or like you know drinking or whatever the fuck like we said there's people with a real ass chemical imbalance you're not going to tell somebody with a chemical imbalance um how the fuck to balance their fucking chemicals there's sometimes when you literally are like bitch i need a fucking drink fuck y'all now, mind you, if you going out here getting DUIs, killing people, hurting people, being a, being a like crazy ass person to your family, because there is people who like when they drink, sometimes they'll spiral, mm-hmm. they'll say the wildest shit. You mix that with social media, it don't matter that you woke up and you're sorry. <laughs> it's done. Like you did what you fucking did. So it's just, it's more like at what point is it so detrimental to your life that it's fucking you up? But I don't know. Cheers to that shit. <laughs> I'll let you Are guys you know. Champagne? No, it's oh, Scott. Oh. Oh, why, why? Um, get it. Yeah, it's some sort of. I don't know what the fuck it is. You want some? Well, wait, you're drinking. Drinking red. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. y'all. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Discipline. Scott. Yeah, exactly. Discipline is the thing. You got to be a boxer in this life if they're disciplined. <laughs> <laughs> at what point you wanted to see. At one point, you wanted to see if you could have fun without it. Yeah, man. I mean, it's everybody's life is completely different. There's no way that there's what over 8 billion people on this fucking earth and everybody's exactly the same. People are still doing research on literal drugs that are illegal. Like there's literal whole ass scientists that went to school, went to got, you know, did all this work just so they can study drugs. Because guess what? Nobody really fucking knows. For a long right. time, some of the drugs that people <clears throat> thought were, you know, they used to think weed would turn you crazy and you would do all these things and then come to find out not really. There's a lot of people that just smoke and they fucking go to sleep. They don't care. Yeah. This is your brain <laughs> on weed. You know? <laughs> so it's like everybody, I feel like whatever the fuck works for you, the biggest thing, whether you're on drugs or not on drugs or religious or not religious or whatever is be a, water. be a good person. Be as good of a person as you can because there's people that believe in God and they're still shitty Terrible ass fucking people. people. 
So you might as well just some whatever people, you're doing. Some people teach God and they're terrible people. Priests. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> my gosh, not with my <laughs> priests. Hey, priests. let's uh, <laughs> celebrate that our uncle stopped leaf blowing. <laughs> Celebration. Couple seconds later, you hear it again. <laughs> Ah, he just took a break. He's about to turn it back on right <laughs> Switching now. Switching the battery. Right. <laughs> Ran out of gas. <laughs> oh, that's good. VL Moon said coping mechanism aren't always addiction. Some people confuse it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. People were addicted to Pokemon Go on their app. Yeah. That was wild. That was a big drug that everybody was on. Not me, because I, I, wasn't, I wasn't on that. <laughs> a lot of people were on it. People are uh, addicted to cheese, man, bro. Like, oh, how yeah. many of our parents, the grandparents, tea. uncles, they love the, tea. the freaking people on TikTok? Everybody there's literal. I, and I feel like you know what's crazy is that the biggest people affected by it are it's always it's like Hispanics, bro. I feel like Latinos are like, you know, I don't know. Well, maybe it's because it's so close for me that know, I though. see them. I feel like it's everywhere. Because it's like Pati Chapoy, you know, like all these fucking like people that like have always for all our families have loved cheese, man. It's like. They fucking love it. And now that it's made its way to fucking TikTok, I'm just like, I understand. But it's like, you got to find a way to get dopamine another fucking way. Another Watching people way. be miserable is not the only way to fucking get dopamine, bitch. Like, find a different way. That's what I'm telling you. I've been smoking and just being on that STEM side of TikTok where, <laughs> where I belong. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, just trying to learn some shit or something. But I feel like that's been around for a while. Like, that's why they have cheaters. That's why the show Cheaters were so good. Like, we were literally watching people hypothetically Reality or whatever, shows. like, getting... I was always triggered by cheaters. Yeah. I couldn't watch cheaters. Because, I'm right. telling you, my dad would take me outside <laughs> of where my mom was at and be like, that's your mom right now. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Look at her car. It's at his house. I've like, been on one of those <gasps> drives. <too. laughs> so every time cheaters would come on TV, I would just be like... <gasps> I really thought my life was fucking ending. I hated that shit. Dang, you were on a live episode of Cheaters. You were there too, jerk. Oh. I've had. You were just sleeping. I know you were them. too young. Oh, you should have gone to sleep then. Did you guys? <laughs> <laughs> I was just fucking. I was the front like, front seat sleep, person. Oh, you're, the, you're the co-star, <laughs> the co-host. One, one time, yeah. It was kind of sad, but one time we, we were at home time buffet with all of our family and my sisters, and we're all crying <gasps> because my dad cheated. Oh my god, not hometown buffet. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> y'all were crying from the beginning or what? Nah, just because we we're gonna leave. We pretty much left. Every We left oh. him with only his belongings in our apartment. Like, he came back from work and there was zero belongings of us. Oh, okay. And we left. Just his TV and his, like, bed and shit. Good. And yeah, so he gets and then he, on people. he was like, let me talk to you guys. <laughs> and we were all eating. And crying. He was getting. Are like, you want more chocolate milk? I was like, no, I want my dad. No, you're not my dad. Yeah, but just for your dad to be like, hey, what's yeah. that? What's that on the ground? <laughs> 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 nah, but it was funny. But oh it was like God. also. That's emotional. not funny. That's fucked up. Or well, we had to like teach him a lesson. <laughs> you know. No, that's not funny, and that's not teaching him a lesson. Fuck that. Don't go back. If somebody cheats on you, and you do all that, and you take your kids out the house, and you do all that. Don't fucking go back. They're going to fucking do it again. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just like, I was like, whatever you guys got going on, figure the fuck out. Yeah. I feel like my tia, look, and that's why my tia deserves to be happy. Matter of fact, is she coming for Thanksgiving? Yeah, they're coming tomorrow. We're about to take her out. Uh. <laughs> I know. Both of them together? <laughs> no, my sister gets here tomorrow. Uh, okay. I, don't know, I think my mom gets here the next. I don't know. I haven't spoke to them. Only my sister. Mm. You guys nice. have coming out? Yeah, my yeah. mom. So you got a sad uh, association with Hometown Buffet then, huh? Yeah. Didn't they close down, though? They closed yeah. down. Yeah. Really? What? With COVID. Ah, uh, no. It but even COVID before COVID, <laughs> I went. Like, I would go alone, and it kind of sucked. <laughs> did you start crying? <laughs> no. That's I'm, fucked up. <laughs> but the no. girl did it. She was like, you want chocolate milk? I was like, no. <laughs> I'm like, no, I can't. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, honey. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Thank you, honey. <laughs> no, but it is true that I feel like when we were growing up, hometown buffet hit like so hard, and then when we became adults, we we're like, this is what the fuck we were eating. Nasty. Yeah. Like, no, Watery ass macaroni. That's where we always went after church. Yeah, that we was went Sunday there after dinner. school. Yeah, we I went there after hours. church, and then it changed. I always went there after church too. Same. Our hometown buffet in San Jose, it had like a, a Pokemon card, Yu-Gi-Oh, like a geek spot. Like, 
And then I, I used to love going there <laughs> to like window shop because I couldn't buy nothing. Oh, like next door. Yeah, like next uh, door. So I was like, while they're still eating, like, I, I would escape to the other spot. I feel and that was like a memorable, good moment. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was That's a, a geek spot. Geek spot. Y'all yeah. didn't collect no cards? Oh, you collect football cards. Shut up. All right, what? you guys. <laughs> Nothing. Why don't you Yu-Gi-Oh? like that to be known? No, Why? Because I fucking gave him to a boy. Oh. Which is the gayest shit I've ever done in my life. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but he knows that shit. So yes, I collected no, mad. Not when I brought it up. It just made me think of it. I collected <laughs> mad football cards. And yeah. For I yourself or for him and gave it to him? I collected them for myself. Oh. And one day I was just like, yeah, I don't care about him that much. And he was just like super geeked about him. And I was like, you can have them. And he's like, really? And I was just like, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I think I when nice I was like though. 19. I'm sure you made his day. But that was the guy that we said, um, if we weren't married by a certain age, we were going to get married together. Um, he hit uh-huh. me up. I was <laughs> married. Like, Are you mar- oh. He wasn't? <laughs> he Whoa. wasn't. And I was married. He's like, hey, like, you remember? Uh- <laughs> he's like, remember when we said? I was like, yeah, I was like, I'm married. I got Dude, married how, at 19. Old, wait, when was that? How old were you? I think he hit me when I was like 20. Because I remember that I had already been married for a little bit. And how? when did you give him the Pokemon cards? Or the, the like football cards? <laughs> Like seventh grade oh my oh. god he remembered if you were we married would friends. he have married him no yeah. we were friends you should have been like give me back my cards loser <laughs> i, I did now. that's what i was gonna say was that <laughs> i did say that he was like oh i don't even know where those are but okay oh my god i was like yeah right. there's a joe cheap. montana signed picture <laughs> that was joe montana <laughs> was it like hundreds or like it was a it was a pretty fat binder. It was like this. It was black. Damn. Damn. Oh, you had them on the binder. All right, guys. Yeah, I'll, I get it. I have boundary <laughs> issues, and I always give too much in situations. We got it. Okay. Were there any holograms? Yes, there was a lot of them. <laughs> there was definitely Barry Sanders in there, Jerry Rice. There was Joe Montana. There was Jerry a bunch curls. of. <laughs> <laughs> there was probably a few Jerry curls in there. I mean, there was some '90s cards for sure, but. Yeah. yeah I wish I had my Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah, millionaire right Look, now. somebody said, see, if y'all got married, you could have had those cards back. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I, I, I don't know. I ne- never checked, but I believe at some point he ended up happily being in a relationship, <laughs> and I was in mine, and now I'm gay. So completely cool. Like, <laughs> glad, whatever, it's you know. Situation. Yeah, Imagine it's just a owns- testament to me being a fucking idiot my whole life. Imagine he owns, like, a card. Signed. A signed card. Empire. Rated. Get a million. Damn. Okay, yeah. Every <laughs> once in a while, I do think about that. Shut up. <laughs> I'm like, I wonder. I don't know, though. I don't check. A long time ago, like, what was it? I think at the beginning of the podcast, I, I used to be like, I, I would be on Facebook, and I'd be like, hmm, I wonder what happened to this person, and then mm. find it. It's been a long time since I've done that. I don't really be on oh, Facebook. Oh, I did that right just now. recently. Oh, shorty reminiscing. I haven't done I that like, in a hmm. long time. Okay. I did that with my best friend, and he got two kids, and he lives in Reno now. <laughs> I was like, like oh damn all right that's like you you checked on your friend didn't he have mad kids yeah he had some kids he lives in kentucky or something see they move they always <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> like damn okay i okay. mean but he was from kentucky, Cholo life so. didn't go that good huh <laughs> yeah, they gotta move somewhere cheaper <laughs> kentucky <laughs> i mean yeah right. that must be the cheapest of the cheap <laughs> is kentucky fried chicken really from kentucky it has to be. Let me look Jack Carlos from Kentucky. I, I thought we okay. went to one one time. Kentucky it was like, That was like the theme. We went to Kentucky. I remember that when we were going by Alabama, we went to Kentucky. Yeah, and I know that because Arby. some dude slammed the fucking door on us. And I was just like, oh, real racist out here. Fucking Jesus. Alabama. It was getting crazy. Ooh. Whenever we're on tour, though, and we, we, we hit some places that are racist, I love speaking Spanish in the freaking gas stations. Like, hey, wait, hey, Cubo, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not even talking to nobody. I'm just saying words just to <laughs> well, see what, that, how people that look at me. Time that, like, that, hey, wait, Cubo. That white guy pushed Johnny because he was black just for no reason. Yeah. But then he found out he was rolling in deep and called the cops, and we had to get out of there. The name was White Town. <laughs> wow. White you guys town. don't remember? I've, I feel like I've heard that. Yeah. Well. There's a city that's, like, near where my mom lives, and they say that no body of color should be over there once when the sun's down. Mm. which is a difference in in um what is it somewhere near cincinnati ohio where it was like the first like it was a town that it was like all black and they were like doing this whole thing where they were gonna just be their own economy did you put the volume up on purpose a little bit cause i was gonna say cause my headphones are really no it's fine oh. i'll turn them down there oh. okay okay so yeah so it's this it's this 
place that is like all black and they were like doing their own economy they were doing their own shit or whatever and like the fucking police department put a big ass shooting range like right next to it oh with, that's God. like the hugest one so like in the middle like in the middle of the day or like the evening it'll just be like it'll sound like fucking Iraq and shit at there and it's like they're literally doing that to like fucking scare them and that's fucked up because that's that like an actual up. thing that's it's happening right fucking now and it's like around the evening they just fucking let off mad shots and it's like all the cops just going there and just no. doing a gun range and i'm just like that's so fucked up because they also did that in what was it Tol like in oklahoma mm -hmm. where that they, they they burned down black wall street and i'm just like these people cannot just like let people be right because if there was a mexican town that we have like you know we can do it here i start buying up acres we start making a mexican town a fucking shooting range is gonna be right next to us that's it's intimidation. It is intimidation, but they don't give a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck. Um, anyway, I've been on I've been on STEM side of uh, TikTok, <laughs> and that also led me to some podcasts that I've been listening to. So I've been out here learning. So what, you will be seeing. I mean, did you say STEM? Like a STEM? Yeah. So what like is that? Science, technology, engineering, and math. Yeah, something. but in lesbians, a STEM is like stud <laughs> slash femme. So it's like a girl that's like boy but but girly. So it's like mm -hmm. that's me. But then it's like STEM is science, technology, and Whatever the fuck else. Nah. Okay. So it's just me. I, I just didn't understand what you were yeah, saying. You, I heard it a couple of times. You think of it like <laughs> weed, right? Yeah. I was like, you're, st <laughs> you're smoking stems. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Kentucky Fried Chicken did, did start in Corbin, Kentucky. Kentucky. In Corbin. 1930. How good was that chicken, though? Because now, it now it's a chain. It's but probably so unhealthy. It's hormone chicken. Lard. Nice. That sounds great. <laughs> Koreans make good ass fried chicken. Oh my god, mm -hmm. their fried chicken is so good. Cause they double fry it. Well, what do you guys like, Popeye or KFC? That five dollar bowl Popeyes. from KFC was fire. Domestic. I say Popeyes. I like Popeyes. I think everything's a vibe. Yeah. I feel I mean, like chicken, so yeah. black fried chicken or Korean fried chicken. Everything's a vibe. <laughs> you know what I mean? Depends. Broccoli. It's like I never had a pork chop till like I grew up and I like dated a. Oh, Puerto Rican person. I had never had pork chops. We don't eat pork chops like that. Oh yeah, I grew up on pork chops. My mom I grew up on pork chops too. You did? Mm. I don't know. Maybe it's like more like Americans. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but like I never had that. I also never had meatloaf till I was an adult. Really? Meatloaf is okay. I, don't I really thought it was mad it. good. It's good. It's okay. It's not like it my first on how it's choice made too. Meatloaf. Yeah, it depends. It. What are the ingredients for meatloaf? Meat, hamburger, pretty and much. loaf, so and ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> like. So like spaghetti. <laughs> kind of. Like in loaf. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my mom makes pork chops with beans and rice. And that's it. She still makes it to this day. That's how we At what age did you guys learn how to use the stove? Like turn it on. Not I'm not saying cooking wise, like just like like the I clicking. Even remember. I was pretty young. What is that yeah. game you got in your freaking well, didn't we drinking have a game? electric we had an electric Let stove? See it. <laughs> what is it about? Oh, flip flip bring it. No, what about Buzz Tower? Because that, we can't do that right here, but like Buzz Tower was that. By the way, I also, one of my many searches that I've been doing lately, I've been wondering why randomly my finger will hurt. Could have arthritis, could have an autoimmune thing. Twitching? I don't know. If you no, relax your, hurts. what I've learned yeah. is you, if you relax your fingers and they automatically go in like that, it's like a sign of arthritis. Yeah, I got arthritis for sure. My grandma, her fingers, no. my, my great grandma was like. So what, my your fingers are like supposed this. to. Stay she like had this? arthritis and they stayed like that. Bless Our great great grandma <laughs> had a fucking crazy one. You seen it? That's what I'm oh, saying. Yeah. My my she my like my, like, my, amas, my, my that abuelita, she'd be like gang banging on me. And she'll be and she'll want you to kiss her <laughs> she hand. Hit your pressure oh points God, in your really? hand. She'll be like <laughs> and I'll be like, oh man. <laughs> That's probably why <laughs> no, I'm getting arthritis, bro. That's probably why I'm getting arthritis. Cause when my 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 great grandma would try to get you to kiss her hand, I'd be like, ooh. Oh, what's oh, up man. with that hand hey. kissing? I used to hate it. <laughs> I'll be I gotta like, go. <laughs> hey, hey, what's good? And then she'll but give yeah, me a now, chocolate. Like, here, thanks. That's probably to boys, but to us, she didn't give us shit. No. She just fucking thought we was pendejas and shit. <laughs> that's where the fucking, that's where the hating women and thinking the boys are all good came from. My great grandma who passed it on to my grandma who passed it on to my mom. It's just how it fucking goes. She lasted forever. I feel like. She did, bro. She outgrew her, her daughter, my that, grandma. That, then some of them stories are fucking crazy. Yeah. Like when my tia was telling me stories about my great grandma who, by the way, was alive, like, most of our fucking lives. So that lady was just 
surviving. She looked like the the grandma from, from my... SpongeBob that asking for chocolates. Yeah, chocolates. And her name is Chona, bro. Like her <laughs> name was literally La Chona, which is crazy that the La Chona song was made and her name was literally La Chona. But anyway, when she was like when she was young, they had a baby, bro. They had a baby and there was a, a thing that like a little like door or whatever to get water from the river. The river would go underneath the house oh and God. they literally I'm dead. <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah. That is what like, she looked kiss like. Kiss my hand. Here's your chocolate. <laughs> and by the way, you might you might think that we're being assholes by making fun of her. She was a fucking she was an asshole. Literally. Oh, really? If I tell you her whole story, like she's a fucking asshole, bro. Her husband was a hard working man and he freaking worked every day and he did his thing and then he like I yo um, cement in his eye so then he went blind in one eye and then he was working or whatever and look now mind you you should have learned your lesson the first time but like I also cement in another eye <laughs> and then he freaking went completely blind and then for the rest of his life he was just there and he just you know he just like loved her and everything and then um, eventually he ended up in a wheelchair and then he would always say Doña Doña Aww. Doña because he was looking for her and he would always say Doña and he was wondering where she was she was out cheating she was she was out do, living her own fucking life and he lived the rest of his life saying Doña like every 15 oh, seconds to a minute sad. he would say Doña bro turn the alarm off we had to watch him bro like we literally had to watch him and like you know they'd be like oh make sure you're, you're up, um, you know it's fine and I'd be like hey está bien and he's just like Doña and you just be like oh my God. you just like that. walk by him and you just do this and he's like Doña, and you're like, oh, this but is what's crazy. Is she was alive. Fucking the bitch. cemetery was like a couple blocks away. Like, remember they lived up by the cemetery. Yeah, so I was like, damn, you guys are almost there. It was so <laughs> crazy. Did she know that he would like repeat way. her name like that? Yes. That's what's so fucked up. She would still be down the road riding a bike with some random ass fucking fool. What He's the? looking for her, saying Doña, hungry. hungry. Like we have to be taking care of him. He's in a wheelchair, all kinds of shit, and then. Yeah, yeah like repeat great gramps. That's why I was so sad. I was just like, that's why I was like, man, these bitches ain't shit, man. <laughs> Fuck that lady. And then one time she freaking fell asleep and there was a the little door and there was a river going underneath the house and the little door opened. Um the baby opened it and guess where the baby went? He fell in there. The Into river. the river? Yes. <gasps> the Yorona came. They had How a big baby. Was it? No. A baby, bro, crawling baby went in that thing. And uh, she, I guess she fell asleep, wasn't paying attention. He's blind. Oh, my God. And fucking. Plot twist, I was that baby. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> I'm dead. We always have that family member that wants the comedic relief. I'm like, Jesus Christ. No, that's fucked up. Like, bro, oh, Doña Tari, someone said, said, yo. What, somebody got him out? Don't, they fished yeah, him out? Happened. He passed away. He, oh, my God. He was God. missing. They didn't find him for, like, a long time. That would have been oh my, my grandma's sibling. He got taken away by the. The river. river. The river passed underneath the house. Oh, but oh, that was that was like earlier in their lives. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. So sad. Wow, what the heck? The stories back in the day are fucking yeah, brutal, bro. Crazy. Yeah, they're like brujas and shit. Every time I hear stories, like my mom or my tia will tell me, I'm like, oh my fucking god. It just keeps doing different like turns. That, I think that's why my sometimes. My dad used to wake me up at four in the morning. Yeah. We used to go plant fucking corn. We didn't need till 10 at p.m. I was like, damn. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, I'm older than you. So like we I was still when Oli was around and stuff, R.I.P. Um, we would go in the donkey to where my grandpa was fucking um, doing the planting. whatever planting. And then we would have to get him lunch or whatever. We would have to give him lunch. And then we would have to stick around and help with the fucking, you know, fucking carrizos and shit or like all the stuff. And then there would be like, you know, like we have to pick the corn and shit. And I'm just like, this is memories that to me if i think about it they seem so fucking far but that, that was my life like what yeah. the hell like i just thought it was normal that was your normal one time i remember my my tia oli que pasa que room was like let's say it's like this and my grandpa had so many corn go to the mazorcas yeah so many ones. The whole fucking room bro i've never seen that much fucking <laughs> corn the entire fucking room you might think i'm being dramatic the whole fucking room up to the fucking top of just masorcas and shit because they would take off the, what's it called? The corn, you know, to make my to make the maiz, to make the, my Feed whatever. The to Yeah, and to molerla, to make the fucking shit, to make the tortillas and all that shit. So it was just fucking crazy, man. Life at was at fucking At least they were weird. getting it. They found a way. They found a way for sure. Yeah. The house was made out of adobe. It's still there. I love it. Mexico's crazy, man. You said, where's the I? Oh, yeah, we should... Probably at practice with Julian. Oh yeah, that's right. 
What's, what's, that what's he practicing? He's in uh, Kung Fu. Jiu Jitsu. Jiu Jitsu. Each one of us gets one of these. What has it go? Corn husk. Oh. <coughs> so his whole room was filled with corn ten husks. Of, ten, ten, and ten. Yeah. Does it matter of why? Why oh, do you so keep you them there? Mm-hmm. Why not throw them away? Yeah. Did you read through? I think they were just like going oh, like, through them and throwing them. There's like so much. Stuff oh. In Mexico, when when you know when all that was going on, I'm dead. Not just me aging myself, but I'm just like, uh, there was no trash. <laughs> you had to burn that shit. <laughs> there was no garbage truck coming by. Yeah, mm, you have to burn no your wonder trash. Burn all the burning smell always reminds me of Mexico. Yeah, makes sense. Says the player who brought the game goes first. <laughs> That'll be you. <laughs> <laughs> Shuffle the deck and you place know, it. In you guys know how to play speed? Yeah. Oh, you think you could beat me? <laughs> I'm F <F1>. one. <laughs> <laughs> she said yes, absolutely. Oh my Each God. player gets. You think you could beat me? Gets ten of these. <laughs> I know I said that like I think I'm good. <laughs> you think you could beat me? You're like, baby, Drew can beat you. <laughs> How long have you been playing? Like, are wait, they? these two? Do you feel like you're a beginner? Yeah, a couple days. I'm super beginner. <laughs> yeah. Super beginner, especially if I'm drunk, bro. All right, guys, we're going to go a little bit. Oh, we're going to go a little bit live on the on this to promote Just the so podcast. I always feel like I got to ask y'all for permission sometimes because I feel like I, I hope you know that this is the way I'm promoting the podcast because um, otherwise I got to get a budget. I got to start promoting the podcast. Like I got to like have like a certain amount of money I put in advertisement. Right. At this point, like I think we're at that level. A you podcast know? that I used to watch a lot. They what the hell? You came here it. to promote it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the hell? You no, I was like another- a podcast I used to watch a lot. Um, They canceled. What? What, what podcast? It's called No For Sure. <gasps> B. Simone's podcast. Oh, yeah. Why they cancel it? Through it. More plagiarism? Together? Yeah, like, they're going through it as, a, like, a friendship. <gasps> what happened? Right. And here's, then may, now, joke, now B. Simone's best friend does her own podcast, and B. Simone's doing, like, her own thing. But they Why they going through it as friends, bro? And her best friend, right? Yeah, they, I guess they were, they were going through something, and then they I'm went shiny. to therapy for it, and then it's just not working. Good so. for them. Therapy, though. I don't know if they're still doing therapy. They unfollowed each other on Instagram. Oh, wow. What the hell? You giving us the motherfucking tea? Not the unfollow. Oh, I've been watching the tea all on TikTok about it. I was like, but I think it's new. Why? What happened? Is it because like one of them is a main event? One of them thought she was a main event, but the other one's sexier. So like everybody's. No, I think one. I think they're just not on the same page, which is okay. Like, I think they're just on two different journeys so one's very deep in her spirituality very like tunnel vision and the other one's like still figuring out her spirituality so i think it ended up clashing with the podcast so they're like well until we can figure it out we shouldn't just do the podcast because because no for sure is like no whatever's no for sure like it's it's no K N O O W, but they say at the oh, end no. they're like, "What do you know for sure, and what are you saying no to for sure?" Yeah, which is a good. I was literally talking about that talking about that on um, TikTok about me that that's the way that I um. Why are you fucking laughing? You throwing my whole. <laughs> no, like, I was damn, like, like, damn bitch, you just fucking doubting me in the room. I was, God like, damn. I was, I was trying to see an example. Here, shuffle oh. these. Shuffle them? Yeah. All of them? There's a big ass deck. You can just play them. You guys haven't played them. Yeah, we've never played them. Okay. And the this is sticky right here, by the way. We might oh. need a so but um paper towel. You were saying that's what you were you were um Yeah, I was talking about that. I was talking about how like um how with me, I don't I, I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing, but I could definitely by process of elimination mm-hmm. start eliminating things that are for sure a, a no. no. Yeah. Which is yeah. Um, so yeah, that's how it makes sense. Can you pass me um a, or wet one of these little water t- paper towels so I could? Sorry, yeah. sticky and that shit. I still watch their episodes well, though. Do we get any examples? What of no and yes? What do you know for sure? And what are you saying no to for sure? Yeah, like carbs or like <laughs> girls. You want me to what name it? No, I'm just I'm just like, saying no. Like, yeah, like that. <laughs> like are you like, saying no like, to like me or are you going pescatarian or pescatarian? <laughs> 
Like you no, don't no. eat fish. I no, do no, want to no. be a pescatarian. I was talking about my 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 path in life, not so oh. much just like things around me that are you know. Oh. It's like no, I'm saying like. Like, if I'm like, okay, like, do I definitely not want to take this route or make this type of, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, certain um, decisions. decisions. Yeah. Um, that's it. Because, like I was saying, like, within, like, my life or personal life, if I don't know what's for sure what's going to happen, but I know that if I am definitely don't see a future somewhere that I'm, I need to, like, make a decision. Yeah. You know? Because then how you can't find what you need in life if you're holding on to what you already know you can't what doesn't serve you yeah facts period comma <laughs> he just dropped okay. us with a semicolon what the Pick ten of grammar those. yeah you just everyone all three of us get 10 of those Can so we could just grab ten. Wine. hola what's handy no, no cup, cup in my cup, cup. you have to make sure you have i was gonna say cup two, in your drink three, four, drink in your five, cup six, seven, eight, nine. what are those Got blocks about drink in my cup so we We're have to have 10 blocks, blocks. Each. You stack ten, and then what? What happens if you lose? Castigo. What's the castigo? Oh, I need one more. We're about to play a game right now. By the way, yes, thank you to everybody that's on TikTok, letting people know to go over to the podcast. We are on the podcast live right now. Okay. It's been. You oh, I miss you guys. Oh. I know it looks like it. Okay. Like I haven't seen you guys. So what um, we're gonna do? What's up? You have your 10? Yeah. Is that your 10? <laughs> yeah, I need one of those too because there's a bug in my cup. I got this bug in my cup. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with zero blocks over here. Is that was the name of the game? Buzzed the Tower. Name of, the name of the game is oh. Buzz Tower. Buzz Tower. Not Buzz Tower. sponsored, by the way. <laughs> so we're going to draw and read a card out loud. If the card applies to you, you add a block as the card instructs mm -hmm. but there are two type of cards there's build cards and there's sabotage cards girl so. can you wait what you just said that <laughs> mad monotone can you my adhd brain can <laughs> so i'm gonna explain it to you yes so we're gonna take a card and we're gonna do whatever the card says so some of the cards say just add a block some of, is gonna say like add a uh, block but only with like your pinky or something oh, okay like okay that. okay bet 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 all right that sounds good <laughs> thank you thank you i'm thank like you. <laughs> Ito's like that too Sometimes There's I'll read the line. instruction And he's mad monotone I'm like bro I stopped listening Three words in Like I need you to <laughs> Give me some inflection get Inflection right. Inflection Whatever the fuck Give me some heights Some lows mm -hmm. some Period Comma <laughs> Alright Who goes for Well I guess me What are we doing I go first So I just pull one Yeah If you've ever taken a dance A dance class pop <laughs> Get a block And drop it on the tower Okay Have you taken a dance class Wait have I taken a dance class? Oh, I have taken a dance class. Any any color? Zumba. Yeah, yeah you can put any right? Yeah. Okay. Wait, it's supposed to be a tower going up. Oh, up. I took hula. And if you little known about okay, fact wait. about me, I took hula. You have to take a sip for hula? every block you add. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because my take mom was trying to make me be a girl. You add. And if you make it fall, you have to drink the rest of your drink. So every time you add a block, you have to take a well, sip. I don't have a drink. Let me have one block. You might have to add three blocks, so you might have to add. Oh. OTF block. Just kidding. Okay. Y'all yeah. might have to, you might have to talk us through this because. Why? If you ever gone streaking, add a block to the tower. Streaking. Okay, wait. wait. We can't see but, but, everyone's but, but, tower. But, 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 but wait, wait. This is our, okay. we have one tower. tower right but who added the red one? Everybody's tower? Jesus. Oh. Stop. And if you Nobody talk. make it fall over, <laughs> I want to know. Lose. Listen to me. Who added this red block? Because she's setting us up for fucking failure. If anyone should fucking chug a lug, if, if this shit falls, <laughs> it's her. Because okay, look wait. at this block. It looks There's like no shit. There's no rules about that, but we can... Because you're setting now us I up for failure. Saying. You're going to set it on the fucking oh, tippy okay. left? Thank you for that strategy. <laughs> okay. I appreciate you. Okay, wait. <laughs> Question. <laughs> streaking and like skinny dipping are not the same thing, or they are? No, anything no, naked you went and did outside. You no, no, no. Streaking, you're running... You're so running, then, no, yeah. I've never done that. You're running through I've never a place. Done that. Okay. Running and naked oh is crazy. God, <laughs> I'm a football <laughs> field. I'm running, doing the football yo, field. Yo, running and naked is insane. That's how I woke Santa. All right. So what? <laughs> you might your turn. <laughs> All right. Here. If you've ever had over 100 unread text messages, add a block to the tower, weirdo. 
Weirdo is crazy. Am I the only one that got offend? Like, got an offense? Yeah, wow, I have 116. Mine 100 literally 100. says weirdo because <laughs> most of it is like, <laughs> wait, just bots. text message or like social media. Yeah, I okay. guess I have a girl. Problem. No. You drink? Oh, okay. Okay. And if you spill the tower, you have to drink all of your drink. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So don't text, don't text. Why everybody? Your turn Ooh, again. Uh, everybody turn? else's game, everybody else's words didn't did include an offense. Mine includes an offense. <laughs> <laughs> you weirdo. It's like you fucking weirdo. I'm like add a block to the tower if you have a close friend story. Add another block for every player that is not on it. What? Add a block to the so if you have a close friends, and then add another block since we are the players for every player that's not on it. I'm only on oh. one because y'all are all my close friends. So. Is this Wait, good? I don't even. I don't have a close friends. Anything. So then, yeah, technically, does she yeah, add? You don't have a. You don't have no. a. No. It's, you have to drink. Me. Yeah. Oh. Onion drink. Okay. Okinaka crap. Like on IG, right? That's what you're, mm-hmm. we're talking about. Okay, yeah. Me. Oh. Wow, this. Oh, I'm drinking. I drank red and white wine. Oh my god. <laughs> Headache coming to you. <laughs> live add a block to the tower if you watched porn today don't lie this is a safe place <laughs> I not, not today <laughs> i'm dead if not anybody today. added a, a thing i'd be like damn y'all y'all walling not today whose turn is it yours, yours. mine add a block while balancing something on your head <laughs> i was gonna do a block too there you go let me just there Mine doesn't even say if this or that. Yours is the sabotage oh one. Oh my god. It was just no, I think that had to do that one. Yeah, it was just her. Oh, me? Oh, I'm well, I was trying to. I'm trying her. to have a good time. She's <laughs> like, I'm trying to join in. <laughs> go. I go balanced first. that um, Corona with Jackie. Remember that one mm-hmm. night? Vote. Jackie Chan. It <laughs> said, vote on the best British accent. That bloke. Oh. The, <laughs> that bloke. Oh, wait, what? what? You've been practicing your whole life. Right? That bloke adds a... Oh, that bloke adds a bloody block to the Big Ben air. Air, air, air. <laughs> what the fuck? I fucking... Hold on. Oh, I might as well I, drink because I'm not doing know, no yeah, English goddamn accent. To... <laughs> Vote on the... Oh, everyone has to do it. And if All right, there. So mine's the best But English is from the United it. States. <laughs> but y'all should try it anyway. All right, Claudia. I'm not drinking it. I literally have a different drink right here. Jesus Christ. Talking to so yourself. You and honestly, if there's a bug, like, I will eat a bug. It's totally fine. No, you're supposed to do it. No, I... No, we I both drink and we put a block. We don't want to do a fucking British <laughs> accent. Wait, what? I eat lobster and did you know... Oh, did you know that... It, you! Hmm. Did you know that if you have shellfish... Um, allergy, no, you can't eat a cockroach. What? Bugs are literally freaking. <laughs> but I eat everything but shrimp. So do I no, technically still have a sh- shellfish allergy? No, but I'm just saying. So like, cockroach is like a shellfish. Shrimp, like um, seafood, um, is bugs of. The yeah, sea. shrimp is roaches of the sea. If you, exactly. if you add Cajun, Cajun seasoning, turn yeah. it into the best. So it's just crazy. So to me, it's like, look, I've ate a scorpion, I've ate ants, I've ate chapulines, like I've ate all that type of bugs. So for somebody to be like, don't, you know, if there's a drink, there's a bug in your drink. I'm like, girl, I ate a fly on accident. Grow up. <laughs> we used to eat from the water the cows drink from. We ain't. We ain't. It flew in right. I'm like, I'm from Mexico. If you guys never showered it while <laughs> it's raining outside, then you didn't have a childhood. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh. You didn't shower outside? Yeah, I just, what? you worded it weird. Do you, look at that. If you haven't showered while it's raining outside, I'm like, I think you could shower while it's, you mean if you like, haven't if you showered haven't in the showered. rain. Look at yeah. that spider. What? Where? With the charcoal. Oh. Ew. Thought you were going to throw it on her to prove a point. <laughs> no, look at that. Oh, yeah, so this one says, go around giving backhanded compliments to the player to your left. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, pick a new card. Don't do that shit. <laughs> I like I've been drinking. We gonna backhand okay. compliment each other. <laughs> this <laughs> Feel is free. not fair either. Go around the circle and guess the middle name of the person to your right. Oh, guess you my know middle everybody's name. middle name. You don't know my middle. Do you know my middle? Okay. 
person to my right. I don't know your middle you name, don't know Leilani. My middle name. <laughs> no, Janelle. <gasps> yes. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. What about mine? You know mine. Yeah, Alexandria. Hey, Alexandra. Alexandra, sorry. Alexandra, not okay. Yeah, well, what's mine? Go over to the YouTube. None of Ia, you know Ia. my middle name. I know none of you know my middle name. I don't. Oh, know. I know. Guadalupe. I seen a piece of mail. <laughs> Marie that starts with a B. Everyone's yes. Bernadette. I was like, yes. what the heck? Her middle name you starts with a B. It. Shut the fuck up! I just guessed it. Yeah. <laughs> I swear. Oh, to God. Heck yeah. Bro, I swear <laughs> to God, I didn't know her name. Wait, which one? Bernadette. Bernadette. Bernadette? Yeah. Bernadette. The fact I even guessed it is insane. <laughs> Me too. I didn't think you were gonna get it either. Dang. It's the wine. You got some She's wisdom psychic. up in you. <laughs> That's that Jesus juice. I'm shocked. <laughs> that one's from Watsonville. Bernadette. We got some cute middle names. I like Bernadette. Uh, I didn't know you that. Burn- oh, that <laughs> was my high death. school crush's name. But we call That's her Brenda. But her real death. name's Bernadette. Burn it. I have a little Burnett. 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 Maybe we call her Bernie. 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 Bernie's. <laughs> Bernie Sanders. Oh, that reminds me of tour Bernie's. <laughs> Bernie's. <laughs> just, I just hear y'all say y'all Bernie. Y'all no middle name? I know. What's your guys' in the sense? Let's just let's, let's ask. What's Angel. your middle name, Ido? <laughs> Angel. Well, what? Your middle Ido's name. middle name is Angel. Yeah, you doesn't have one. Is that do? Yvette, what's Legally, your middle name? Legally, Mesa. I do. <laughs> What is it? It's Mesa. No, Guadalupe. it's Guadalupe. Yes, it does. It's like me. I'm Claudia Alexandra Madrid's Mesa. Like I would have Madrid's instead of Mesa, but that's not your middle. Social name. fucked it up. Oh, yeah. Hey. On his birth certificate, that's it says. Cotto ended up being my name. mom's middle name because she took my stepdad's last name. So does that mean I'm not gonna give my kid a Mesa you and can. I'm gonna give him Bautista? You, oh, you guess. No. You guessed Yvette's middle name. <laughs> no. What? You guessed Yvette's middle name. What? Guadalupe. Oh, nice. You You're guessed that one too? I am. I said Guadalupe first. Oh my God. What's your middle name, your, Melissa? That's your secret talent right <laughs> there. <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, let me read <laughs> some <laughs> cards right now. I'm about Her to do some tarot. 11 What's your dogs. Name? 11 dogs. The Go. The whitest shit I can Marie. think of? Karen. Huh? <laughs> Brittany? <laughs> Karen. Jay. No. Jay? Uh, J- Jacob. Jean. Shut the fuck oh up. Oh my Jean. God. <laughs> <laughs> Lottery no. ticket. Lottery ticket. Lottery no. ticket. What the heck? Bro. That's hilarious. Wow. That is the whitest shit I could think of. If you said with a J. Bro, what else can you do? <laughs> bro. Bro, 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 bro. Keep this There's going. There's some special powers in these wines. I don't know if it's the one with the bug or this one, but one of them is giving me some powers. Middle name powers. Austin. Austin. <laughs> what was Austin Powers' middle name? Danger. Yeah, Austin Danger. I've Powers. never been so right. <laughs> Twice in a row. Three times in a row. Crazy. I gotta pee, right. man. Well, you <laughs> got my people. lottery ticket. <laughs> I know. We gotta find more people so you can it's guess. It's my the rosary. <laughs> oh. Yo, y'all better stop fucking with me. Everybody <laughs> out there saying. trying to fuck with me. I gotta. I got my rosary with me. What's my ass middle name? Let's see if we keep it going. <laughs> my tia doesn't have one. Araceli. <laughs> Araceli Chelli? Yeah. All right, my turn? Mm-hmm. Yes. Person who most recent. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> No, nobody on this table is gonna do any of this. First of all, I've never, I've never. But then I'm not even capping. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> not the build up. Never, never, <laughs> never. Person who most recently got an STD. <laughs> oh, never mind. Test. <laughs> just, let's just <laughs> add a block if you've ever been stood up on a date before. They don't deserve you anyway. Period. Uh, stood up? No. And you have to drink, girl. (laughs) Damn. Damn, son. (laughs) They still follow me on Instagram, too. Oh, of course they do. I was like, ah. On a date? Or like a link up? Like a a kick it? Or like a straight up date? date? It was a date. And they fucking didn't show up? So what, you went to Girl, I'm gonna drink for you. God damn. I was like, okay. How long did you I mean, stay his, before you realized? His or her, I don't know what. And you let them still the follow you, girl? No, they, it wasn't that long. Because I was like, I'm, it was like, oh, we're going to meet here at this time. And I was like, okay. And I probably waited maybe like 
you get it like a 10 minute grace period and then i left you were by yourself 10 yeah. minutes Ten minutes. hold on they might have showed up <laughs> <laughs> they didn't because i didn't get anything i didn't get no, a text yeah. or nothing and so that, I if was you're in like, la that's one block <laughs> it wasn't in la so oh but period. yeah i was yeah. like no. I, I had someone trick me okay i had somebody tell me like we were gonna link up and then i was late more than 10 minutes but um eventually i did text and then they said that they left and then i was like no i was like i was caught up like i was talking to my brother blah 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 all this shit and then they were like um um okay i guess i'll come back but uh and then they, they came back and they're like but you, i need you to be here and do this and do this and then i was like okay cool so then i did that and then um they came back and then since then every time we would link up they were like if you are one minute late i'm leaving <laughs> and i'm blocking you so I literally was always like, oh, my God, I got to hurry up. So, yeah, but that didn't work out. But anyway. that's the thing. It's Jeez. like if you're going to be <laughs> if you're gonna be late, like it, you just tell them. But I didn't get a text or I'm going to be late. So I was like 10 minutes phone. and I'm going to leave. The phone and I was maybe lying or something. Yeah, I let them still follow me because I'm doing great. Hey, <laughs> period. <laughs> period, comma, dot. Is it my turn? I'm like, come to find out, maybe they were right. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I was later than that. And I kind of slipped my mind to text. Damn. Damn, I really got to pee now. Hold on. I don't even going? like that card anyway, so. Yeah. I mean, no, there are some that are a little. Been live for Sorry. Really? 97 minutes. Cut the we chicken. can go a little bit longer, and then we'll do, like, the cutting and the. Cut the ham. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I got to pee. Hold on, you got to stand up. So Y'all oh. could go another round on this. Ah. Oh, oh, my God. Be careful. What? Oh, shit, Relay. Oh, oh, I fight. thought there was a spider. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Shasa Roberto, Jayla, oh. Terry, Luz. I wonder if people who are named Luz ever run out of the light. It <laughs> said, out of block nah. if you have Tylenol or Advil on you. Thanks, mommy. Thanks, mommy. I ain't got either, so you. Not I got drugs. On me, but I, have some. Oh, I was going to I was gonna quote the um, girls trip. She's like, I got drugs <laughs> in my booty. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm here now. That's called shit. I believe that's called caca. No, she was like, you get an infection. She was like, you can't get an infection in a booty hole. It's a booty hole. <laughs> I believe that's called caquita. That's by Tiffany Haddish. Like you eat stuff and then you sh- it comes out of there. Like a detox? No. <laughs> you said you got drugs in your ass. But it's like, no, yeah, there's caca there. Oh my god. It's not drugs. Caca. I call it caca too. Caquita. <laughs> or a cacota. If you say cacota, I mean it's like, yeah. It's no. Cacota. I mean, I don't know why we're talking about it, but like the worst. <laughs> the long ones hurt. The worst. Oh, the worst name for it? Ses- session. When you go to the bathroom, the worst session, I'm going to call it that, is black women in churches. Oh, yeah. A little session. Because they be like, ooh. <laughs> Like, Ooh, child. Yes. I, I want to go to a black church one day. That have, you should. It's fun. How long do they last? I know. They look good. They I look like, like the club. They look fun. Longer, right? the, the services, okay, it's it's supposed yeah. to be like an hour, but sometimes yeah. they go you like just, hour and a half. Yeah. Do they get oh, okay. any Not penalties bad, or nothing? No. They, oh. They're just like, I'm going <laughs> to get in trouble for this, but the music keep going and everybody shouting. God and, got us. God, yeah. God, 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 but it's dude. like they own the building, so it's technically like, well, Facts. it's not whatever. really whatever. Well, but that's old school black churches, though. Who's the relator in that be? The relator. The relator. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like my parents' church, they're still old school, Do but like the church that I go to, to the little it's not basket that comes along. The offering, yeah. You don't put the camera on both of y'all because people are saying, yeah. Can they see and um, you get a um. You can file those for your taxes. What? What you put in? What? Yeah. Hmm. hmm. It's technically it's supposed to be ten percent. Ten percent. That's what, what it's is supposed this, to be. But I just give what the Lord. Ten percent of me. what? Hold up. Ten percent of you your in- of what of what like you make or your check or whatever. It's just ten percent. <laughs> oh. So oh, what is that? But that's no. the tithes, and then the offering is whatever is on your heart. Oh Ooh, my God. 10% I like that. Plus. Hmm. Ten, like at minimum 10 percent and you gotta pay <laughs> for parking 10%. then whatever your heart oh, thinks hey. oh but God. i can say because i did go off of that and i can say it does work in your benefit because i did make that? more it's the pastor no, and, um the my pastor parents thing. say that too it says 
Your average, parents own a church. Average paycheck. Yeah, let's well, see. I mean, how are you supposed <laughs> to? It's Shorty a, said, mo- my parents say that. Monthly? Your parents own a but church. But that's the thing. It's <laughs> like you're supposed Wait. to. So the amount you get paid per month? Yeah. Yeah. So you're supposed or to be giving check. 500 For me, it was bucks? per check. Well, yeah. what if you're like red zoning it? Are you allowed to take 10%? Like, oh, this okay, is but if you're, good. Like, let, you're know, if you're red zoning it, like... Obviously, they're not right? like temper. They're like give what give what your heart desires. But well, can it's I like, take? Can I take? Like I don't want to get to <laughs> my heart. My heart. To be is fair, to be to fair, no. To be yeah. fair, churches do give because like us, like with my mom, like we we didn't we weren't on like welfare yeah, food, or right? EBT yeah. or anything. But my mom would go to a church and they would give us food. Um, food. And, yeah. Now, mind you, that's probably how I developed that onion allergy where I started getting mad. Um, do you remember when I was getting um hives all the fucking time in Fort Worth? Oh yeah. my God. Probably from that, but um, Were you Shrek-ing we it? ate <laughs> Shrek-ing. No, onions. no, she was making like you know, like potatoes with like things mm-hmm. and whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh, you but got I would get onions random and they give you hives. hives. Yeah, man, Whoa. that tide was was hitting yeah, me. I rough. will say I, I appreciate them giving toys to the less fortunate because we was one less fortunate ones, and I would grab a, a toy from them, and I think my mom gave it to me, but it was them. Wait, but I was happy. Yeah. So can you uh, write off, write that off? What yeah. you give to the yeah. church? Mm-hmm. 10% you can right. write it off. You just, you just tell them. Oh. Well, the church that I go to, the they, they give me, they give me, they gave me every. Um, well, okay, the proof you can. D- that you put well, it in the when you basket. do it in yeah. an envelope, yeah, well, you're supposed to do it in an envelope, and you're supposed to put down your information, and they always send it to you in the mail. But I always did it on my phone. So they always gave me each receipt, and I could file them. That's like, that futuristic, right? Yeah. So, they take Zelle and so that's out? how it. Yeah, they take all that. Yeah. Well, the church oh, I go to, yeah. Wow. The priest is like, hold on. Every way. Yeah. Give me the QR like code. The, but like that's mainly. Like, but target. people. That's what He's people start to like wonder. Yeah, but it's man. mainly because like they do these like programs for people. It's not just like going to church on Sundays. Sometimes they have groups. Sometimes they'll go and like, oh, we'll do something for the less fortunate, but we have to buy these tools. And that's what the money that you're putting into the church is for. So nice. it's like, that's what it is. But, you know, sometimes it's just tithings and not offerings. Because I'm like, Lord, I only have enough to tithe, not to offer. Oh, it's a tithe. Oh, wow. Yeah. To tithe <laughs> so already- is 10%. But offerings is what you're, what God is like. Tells you to give. a little extra. Yeah. All right, y'all Extra. shaking the hell out this table, and if this Girl, falls, it's on you. And the gas Yo, and prices I'm not and the table. fucking food. Extra. Shit. Shit. I thought like a dollar was good. $2. But uh, for me, I've always had great experience. Like, it always came back to me better. So I was like, okay, well. Yeah. You're global. Let's boss. keep doing it. I feel. He said what? I'm, I think he meant to say gullible, gullible. but he said glovable. Glovable. <laughs> glovable? Glovable is crazy. <laughs> it's like Were a you ball trying to speak in tongues? Globe. Oh, he said like, blah blah blah. <laughs> You're la la la. You ever heard of <laughs> you ever heard like with black churches when they speak in tongues? Have I've you spoken heard? in tongues. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I've never been to a black church. I'm interested and I wanna go. Who's down? <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> Look, speaking in tongues got me long uh can we Oh my god, Lord, please. The Lord player Farquhar. with the most block shaped That's crazy <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> That's crazy. Who said up. That? I said they call me blockhead. It says the player with the most block shaped head adds a block. <gasps> That's <laughs> fucked up, bro. The universe is fucking with I me. Like head this is black. custom made. Like well, because totally. you have a wig on. <laughs> no, it's because of my job. What the fuck? When I was a little fucking kid, I didn't have a fucking wig on. Oh, I wasn't there when you were a kid. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, just there, I added a block. Shut up. I'm take a drink. Pull the car. <laughs> Roblox. <laughs> I was I was on your side. <laughs> Middle I already thing. got a friend and you want to clock me too. I'm like, damn, bitch, punch me in the head. Why not? Un sape. Go. Middle children get some attention by adding a block to the tower. I'm not a middle child. I'm not a middle child. Great. So pick no. another Are we friend. all first children? I am. I'm the youngest on my mom's and the oldest on my dad's. So Add a block if you don't Edo's know the youngest. your zodiac sign. I mean, yeah. You said what? That's fucking dumb. And then Google it. What is we that? Can we go faster sign. with these cards? The shortest player adds two blocks. Who's, who's shorter, me or you? I'm 5'2". Oh, God damn it. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Damn, if you've go. sent or received a nude in the last week, add a block. 50 cent? Add a block <laughs> for every tattoo you have. Oh. Oh. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Skyscraper. <laughs> Everyone votes who they think. That's fucked up. What? <laughs> 
Let it. Everyone fuck. Think is the worst dancer. <laughs> Not me. Add a block <laughs> to the dancer. tower if you played. <laughs> That's an ad. Oh. Oh, what? Do you not trust they me? If I'm throwing the, the card, game? wait. Chill if I'm out. throwing the card, right? That that's telling of your friends. If I'm throwing the card, I'm like, oh, that's not good, and then I throw it. <laughs> Whoever checks the card is like, they don't trust me that I'm just having that I'm being polite, because they want to check what the card says. One of them was, everyone vote who's the worst dancer. Like we're not gonna do that to ourselves. Another one is tickle. Let people tickle you while you add a block. I'm not fucking doing that shit. <laughs> and <laughs> add a block to the tower if you've ever played the original buzzed we love our little family like that's a fucking ad you are now on trial based on your behavior during this game the other players must vote on whether or not you should add three blocks to the tower so what how do we determine that bad luck that's why she threw it players with step parents step up right now and add a block <laughs> oh my god okay Cole's oh, it's lose. like Jenga. Cole's gonna lose. Cole is gonna lose. No, she's not. You got it. You got it. Oh, you gotta <laughs> take go. a drink. If it falls while somebody hasn't gone, the last person who was who did it. Add your block with your chin resting on the table. The fuck no. <laughs> okay, fine. The crimson chin. <laughs> Add a block if your parents are still together. Let's hope the tower holds up as well as their marriage. No. None of our parents are still together. Oh. If you have shoes on, add one block to the tower. If you are barefoot, add two for letting those piggies <laughs> show. <laughs> what if I only have one shoe on, technically? Then you add one. Oh, I'm going to read this one because it was the best surprise ever. Add a block if you've ever had a surprise birthday party. Surprise, add another block. That was we got that you. was such a we nice. I know you guys. You guys gave me the best birthday I've ever had. Awesome. Oh, I still have that video too. All right, now you guys. I'm to oh, go, cool, cool. Pale Oh wait, player. wrong. Put your some. No. What the hell? No, it That's says. That's insane. Like, that was the wrong fucking cup. To the tower. Give me the red wine. It's red, empty. Red, red wine. There's no more. <laughs> Are we gonna wait, drink anything? One. I have Another this uh, like onion. That. There's no draft. more buzz ball? No. There's only that ugly beer. There's eggnog. Jesus Christ. Add a block for every day of the week that you haven't washed your hair with shampoo. I'm black. Honest. I can't wash my hair every day. Add a block with your two palms, day. no fingers. <gasps> if I lose, I do what? You have to drink the rest of your drink. If I win, I do what? You keep Nothing. Drink. <laughs> there is no winning. <laughs> Bitch. Wait, okay. <laughs> Wait, because you're in it. So do you not shampoo your hair or you just don't touch water? <coughs> oh, my God. Shut up. Well, I want to learn because I started not shampooing, but I still wet it. He wants to go to black church. Don't now. wet he wants it. to know about black but hair. But then I'm like sweating. Okay, black people can't wash their like, hair every day. They have to the wash morning. their hair once a week. So well, anywhere it's not good for your hair. Oh, well, he was no asking if it's water or shampoo. But if you're you can't wet your hair every day because it'll dry wet. out my I don't scalp. Know, say it. Mm. What? Because it's like, I would understand if I'm not sweating, but if I ride my bike and I'm pouring sweat, how am I not supposed to wet my hair? Right? You probably can. Yeah, Add a block can. if you can't whistle. <laughs> <laughs> can you inside whistle? Ginger's out of block. My tia's going to th come through. If you've ever been to a wedding out of block, Are they still together, though? Uh, been to a wedding? Oh Either Cole or Lilo are going to lose. <coughs> oh, my God. Oh, blood of Jesus covers me. Ain't no way. Oh, my God. That offering paying off. Okay. <laughs> I ran out of cards. <laughs> Let me see. We'll add a block. Add a block to the tower if you've ever shoplifted. Name the store and item. <laughs> Walgreens, no, lead pencil. I'm dead. Cole just pointing at the cards. She's, I mean, at the block. She's like, go ahead. Name the store I've shoplifted from. And the item. I used oh, to steal God. bottles when I was a teenager. Every fucking oh, store. Yeah. I ran in on Mervyn's when I was a teenager. Oh, Mervyn. Um, and I also uh, used to steal makeup from Walmart when I was a teenager. Haven't done it since. Oh, my God. 
that. Hey, what about you? Offering? I sold candy from the 99 cent store after school. Uh, Cole, you about to lose, girl. The heck, all three of y'all are thieves? Thieves, robbers. Thief in it. I feel like I... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. At certain point, somebody had to steal something. I knew it was gonna be cold. <laughs> I, I used to steal hearts as a teenager. I'm done. I Shut never up. gave them back. <laughs> Why are men? Because I moved to the United States and she still resents me to this point. You're like, you left me. I was like, my parents told me we had to go. <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> What is happening? You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. I was me. like, hey, not that guy. Que ir. Tu papá dijo que nos tenemos que ir. And I had just gotten with this girl that I truly loved. Oh. And yeah, he was definitely for. that uncle that gets drunk and he just starts fucking reminiscing talking and talking about like, stories. <laughs> no, like, sorry, I know. Know. Man. It's, like, it's like, you were 11. Yeah, yo, leave it alone. I'm 13. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking dead. That's true story. <sighs> <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. well, shit. Ham time. Cole, no, you're supposed to chug that. Chug, Where chug, the ham? Chug, 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 chug. All right, for those of y'all that don't fucking know, we are going like, um, we are going to go live for the day ones. So if you are a day ones, One. you'll fucking see us have our, what? Friendsgiving. Here? Yeah. yeah. Our Friendsgiving. We're having our Friendsgiving um, here and we're going to eat. And do all that good shit. So if you're not a day ones, I mean, you know, don't feel bad. But if you do want to be a day ones, you can go to youtube.com slash everyday day slash join and you can become a day ones. And uh, you get a bunch of perks and a bunch of stuff. Not the drugs. Stop taking perks, everybody. But I'm just <laughs> going to let you guys know. You do get a bunch of perks and benefits if you do want to become a day ones. Discounts. Discounts. Discounts on the First store. Dips. First dibs on day one. I mean, on um, on meet and greets. First dibs on tickets. First dibs on merch. on merch. First dibs on a lot of different things. And also, I am gonna have a Black Friday sale that's specifically gonna be for the members, and another one that's gonna be for the day Yay. ones. So if you want to be a motherfucking day ones and join our family, then you can. If you don't, then look, it's free to watch this podcast. It's free to do your motherfucking thing with us. We here every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, you don't have to be a day ones, but if you want to, go ahead and join. And we are about to. Do the whole Friendsgiving and eat the food and do all that good shit, all right? I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. I'll let them have the last word, but I love y'all. I'm out. Bye. New merch, everydaydays.com. Esa niña no se aguanta. Quiere todo porque el pussy sabe a panta. Si la dejas por pendejo, se te casa. Dale todo, dos de lengua y una horchata. Si te alcanza. I'm the shit, huh? Are you catching what I'm throwing for what pick up? Same bitch I always was, now I'm just richer. I'm about to shake it up, bitch, check the Richter. This a sticker. You say some things your numbers don't say. I got some kids with toys that don't play. Kilo de azúcar pa' mi con flay. I don't need roses, pour me rose. No soy santa. Baby, yo soy vale madre, fuck a chancla. Lo que yo si tengo mucho a ti te falta. Y si quieres yo te enseño con el ram, pa' pa' pam, ram, pa' pa' pam, pam. No soy santa.